Introducing her opponent from Brisbane, Australia. She is the striking Simone Shani. On. Alveda Scott looking to have her own Bret Hart moment here. Can you keep these safe for me while I wrestle, please? Thank you. Well, look at that beautiful gesture right there. Scott. I don't know if that's going to translate inside the squared circle, however. It looks like that young lady just got herself a souvenir. Bell rings, and this matchup begins right now. Live on Title Match Network. Again, if you're new to Title Match, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help us get across the one million mark. We are so close and inching closer every single day. And it wouldn't be possible without the incredible fans that support everything that you see right here at Title Match Network on YouTube. Scott trying to establish dominance here early. Scott with some wrist control here. Wrenching the arm. Simone. Nice reversal. Total package, make no mistake about it, trained at Santino Brothers Wrestling Academy. She has gone on the record in the past as listing some of her inspirations in the ring as Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, and Lita. That's pretty rarefied air right there. If you're going to emulate any three in the sport of professional wrestling, those three are about as good as it gets. Shoots Veda into the buckle. Veda Scott responds there with a knee. Oh, bludgeoning knee strikes to both temples. Short night of work here for Veda Scott. Simone slips out. Shot followed up with a shot downstairs right there in the bread basket. And now another from Simone. An attempt here. Wiggles out that arm at one. Veda Scott had all the momentum early on. ceases to exist. Veda Scott has had quite a career in professional wrestling. Competing in Japan, competing in the United Kingdom, Canada, Ireland, Scotland, at Ring of Honor, at Shimmer, and of course on Ladies Night Out as well. A win here for Simone would establish herself and on this stage with a worldwide audience make quite a statement. Made a German suplex. Tries to shake off that offensive onslaught from Simone. Scott now perched up on the balcony. From the top with that clothesline. 
Veda Scott keeps the momentum alive. A twist of fate it sorts there. Cover one, two, this could be it, no. Simone punching her ticket to second chance city with that kick out. Veda positioning Simone for what looks like a fisherman suplex. She had it scouted. Battles out, forearm to the throat. And now going downstairs with a barrage of punches and closed fists. The official trying to warn her about it. Simone doesn't give a damn. Off the rope. Another elbow strike. She has a mean streak in her, doesn't she? Come on! Snapmare takeover. Simone again. Sit out Lariat. She's admiring her work when she should be going for a pin. One, two, and that will cost her the three. Two and three quarters, could have been three. Goes for it again, nonchalant pin will not get it done against a talent the rate of Veda Scott. Pick out at two. Veda, clubbing blows up top to the sternum. Missed this time. Simone comes back with an elbow of her own. An avalanche of offense from both athletes here. Kicking it into the next gear. Pin attempt. Gets off the mat and into a cross face center of the ring and she is a long way away from that bottom rope. Veda Scott weathering the campaign of assault. Here from Simone Sherry. It's staying in this matchup. Arm breaker there from Veda. Trying to go back to the cross face once again. At first, you don't succeed. What you say? Simone doing her best right now to block it, and the official has to keep an eye on where that forearm is, as it could be a choke. Wait a minute, pin attempt there from Simone, kick out of two. Will that spear be enough? Hooks the leg, two. Wow, that is a near fall. Buckler there from Simone. And then a shot to the temple that turns the lights out on the brain box. Simone. Spikes her in the middle of the ring with a DDT. Will that be enough? And now she's headed up to the top. And a shout out to our super chat supporting fellow Aussie Simone put this towards the Brush Fires, you got it, my friend, and thank you very much for joining us from PSVR Zone. Simone from up top. From high altitude, she crashes down. Two, three, and she does it for Australia. Title Match Network, the place for the best in women's wrestling. Exclusive pay-per-views with the top talent from around the world. Featuring Mission Pro Wrestling. Oh! <laughs> Capital Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Ladies Night Out. Oh! And many, many more. Thousands of live events, all styles, available 24-7 on demand. Title Match Network. TitleMatchNetwork.com My name is Jade. And I just spoke to CCW management, and CCW has given me permission to be the fourth contestant in this match. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, you want to talk about tenacity. 
Jade has been competing since her early teens. She actually debuted at the age of 15. It just goes to show what kind of ambition, what kind of drive Jade has. I don't know if Delmi Exo is too happy about that. Competitors showing their respect for the CCW Network Championship held aloft by referee Nick Shin. We will continue on four corner survival match. One fall to a finish. CCW Championship is not in contention tonight. It's still in the possession of Christina Marie. Dummy Exo really locked a, a target on Jade. I don't think she liked Jade asserting herself and entering this match. It looks like it's going to be Dummy Exo and Ultraviolet starting things off in this four corner survival match. Tags are necessary. You do have to tag other opponents in order for them to become legal in the competition. It is one fall to a finish. Jockeying around one another. Taken down to the mat is Ultra Violent. Rolling around, shifting her positioning. Ultra Violet sponsored by All Things Pro Wrestling Podcast oh and by Jess. Thank you so much. Wrenching around, oh. Now locking in, anchoring the arm of Delmi Exo. Bearing down on the, the side, the rib cage, the abdominal. Stretch is in. Ultraviolet last month, successful in tag, tag team competition in the Capital Cup. Now Delmi Exo. Wrenching at the leg, damage in the lower body of Ultraviolet. God Queen, she's been adding more and more gold to her arsenal. She'll look to do it here tonight with the CCW no, no, Network no. Championship. Yeah. Quick yeah. scissors you say, Delmi, what do you from say? Ultraviolet. No. Around the throat of Delmi Exo with the God Queen. What'd you say? I don't think she liked whatever she heard. Took her off her game. Shoulders are down, the quick kick up. Now asserting that wrist control is ultra violent. Had that long feud with Christina Marie is the idea of getting her hands on Christina Marie once more and potentially leaving with her championship on the mind of ultra violent. Set up and over by Delmi Exo. Blocks the blow, delivers one of her own. Ultra violent now, barreling in. Yeah. Delmi Exo hangs herself back on the ropes. And ultra violent. Diving into that arm drag. Catches that boot. And the knee delivered. And now forearm shots. Spinning back fist. And Delmi Exo finds herself in the corner of Jade. Makes that tag. I don't know how much respect Delmi Exo had for Jade. When Jade entered this con competition, but an out was an out, and it's given Delmi Exo some valuable breathing time as now Jade squaring up with ultraviolet. Showing that control, showing that dominance, but expertly weaving her way out is ultraviolet. Side headlock, but Jade again finding an escape. Jade made her capital debut last month, challenging Vicious Vicky, showed so much heart, showed so much fight, and looks to show again here so much fiery tenacity. Jade now off the ropes, shoulder tackle sends ultraviolet down. Not allowing herself to be tripped up. Oh, sliding beneath Ultraviolet. Oh, with Fisherman Neckbreaker. Jade, so impressive. Hooks that leg. That's the tricky thing about a competition like this. Four corner survival means you can be the reigning champion and not even be involved in the decision. Christina Marie could lose her title and not even be the legal competitor in the match. Dumped over by Ultraviolet. Get out of here. Get out. Delmi Exo was chomping at the bit, ready to get back into this competition, but Ultraviolet and Jade, the legal competitors here. Shoved into the corner of Christina Marie. Wow, delivering a shot to Jade before a 
officially entering this competition. The history that's been brewing. Losing her spot at Capital because of her own behavior. Christina Marie now into the cover to retain. Broken up by Delmi Exo. And Exo dumping Christina Marie out of the ring. Delmi Exo now on the apron. Christina Marie and Jade are volleying back and forth. Tell me, Exo, sizing up the competition here. Double drop kick. You can hear the impact. You can feel the impact. The God Queen wiping out the champion and another challenger. Tell me, Exo's got both Christina Marie and Jade in her grasp. Ultra violent now, bounding off the ropes. Dives through. Second ultraviolet picking up where she left off. Taking control. Could you could you imagine? So much bad blood between these two. Christina Marie and Ultraviolet waged war against one another mere months ago. Now Ultraviolet with the submission locked in. Christina Marie struggling for breath, forcing back the shoulders of Ultraviolet. Incredible way to force that break, endangering Ultraviolet by getting her shoulders down. Now once, oh, now Christina Marie finding herself in the driver's seat as Delmi Exo and Jade exchange strikes at ringside. Slam face first, back down to the canvas. Again. Oh, jeez. Deafening thuds across the chest of Jade. Tell me, Exo. Not to be outdone by Christina Marie barreling into the chest of ultraviolet. Harsh words from the reigning double champion of CCW. Whoa, got Ultraviolet on the shoulder, so oh, and drop. Straight to that cover, but Ultraviolet. She's got right under the skin of Christina Marie. Blood is absolutely boiling. Taking Ultraviolet off her feet. Planting her on that top turnbuckle. Ultraviolet now. Wait a second, Delmi Exo. Wrenching away the double champion. I don't know if it was seen. I thought a tag might have been made. Wait a second. Delmi Exo. Oh, jeez. Drop kick. But Ultraviolet wipes out. Wait a second, Jade, the legal competitor, only two. Scrambling next to the God Queen. Only a two count again, Jade though. Not letting it ruffle the feathers. Two count only for Jade. That could have been the perfect opportunity to pick up the win and to leave this CCW appearance with extra gold in her luggage. Now, dishing out clothesline after clothesline. Fisherman suplex to the current reigning champion. Driving down the elbow shot. Dummy Exo kicks out. Jade now. Oh, wait a second. That was a face buster onto Delmi Exo. Into this cover. I don't know if Ultraviolet broke that up or if Christina Marie kicked out. A mass of bodies. All in competition here in our main event of Blood in the Sand, hashtag CCW Anniversary. Fire in the eyes 
voracious appetites for gold here at Capitol. Slugging it out. Del Miexo, Jade, Ultraviolet, Christina Marie. All of the competitors getting back to a vertical base. The melee ensues. Christina Marie now. Double noggin knockers. And the champion standing tall, surveying the scene here. And looking to send not only a message to Ultraviolet, but looking to retain. Wait a second, reversed. UVB from Ultraviolet. Could that be? Is it enough? Broken up by Delmi Exo. God Queen, not resting quietly. Butterflies the arms into that suplex. Doubled yeah. over with the kick, now springing into the DDT off the ropes. Jade firing up. Impressing fans here and impressing herself, but wait a second. Christina Marie was right behind her. Oh, she's just flinging her overhead. So much power from the elite power lifter, Christina Marie. Seems to be staring daggers at Jade, looking at her like she's prey. Spear out of midair. That could be it. Oh no! Wait, what's going on over there? Watch yourself. Hey, is that dummy? That could have been three. I almost had that, but you keep yourself off and you're not playing with you. The dummy exo. The difference maker here. Pulled the official, and now ultraviolet. Dumping Christina Marie out to ringside. And Domi Exo busy with Christina Marie. Oh, a kick out. Ultraviolet was looking to capitalize. We found our way to the metal bleachers now. Delmi Exo looking to do some serious damage on the champion. Jade now with the kick. And a suplex at ringside. Delmi Exo and Christina Marie are down. Ultraviolet. Slam to Jade! Straight into that cover! Could it be? No one in sight! Ultraviolet! The new champ! Here's your winner! And new! CCW Network Champion! Ultraviolet! All of the factors at play! Christina Marie too busy with Dummy Exo at ringside! TitleMatchNetwork.com
can't count out. It's Dream Girl Ellie. Oh, she's definitely got heart, and she can strike with the best of them as well. well there's the bell, and here we go. Dream Girl Ellie set to go one on one with Freya the Slayer, the Queen of the North. Now, the Freya's only... another tall bombshell as well, right? She's, she's up there. Freya the Slayer, the only female professional wrestler from Alaska. Oh, wow. Coming down here in North Carolina for Ladies Night Out. How about that drive? Yeah, Freya is someone who really has been branching out of her home state and making a huge name for herself, most recently extensively in OVW. And she has faced Dream Girl uh -oh. Ellie before. They are very familiar with each oh, other. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! It's like when you throw the trash out into the dumpster. I'm not saying that, but you know, good grief. Just tossed her like a sack of potatoes. Freya's strength on full display. But look at the tenacity of Dream Girl Ellie bringing the fight to oh, Freya. She will. Don't ever count out. Dream Whoa. Girl Ellie. Oh. Looked like Ellie was going for maybe a monkey flip. Freya just too strong, but Ellie, Ellie has that quickness. Yes. She's very tenacious. She's very punctual as well. She's always early. This is going to be power versus speed. It's your oh. early. Looked like maybe Ellie was trying to spear Freya off the apron and Freya caught her. Oh. 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 Big axe kick combo denied, and Ellie Ooh. with the forearm. Yeah, Freya going for that off with her head, but Ellie wisely moved out of the way and knocks Freya all the way to the outside. If she would have connected with that axe kick, that might have been it. Yeah, that is a match ender for Freya. I've seen it before. Uh-oh. Now Ellie going to fly. Oh, go for a drop kick, but got caught. Oh, baseball slide action, but she said nope. Oh. Uh -oh. Chest caving chop from Freya the Slayer. And that's why I don't play baseball. I, hate, I would never slide into to a chop. Abita, you mentioned these two women both know each other so well from OVW and wars in the past. Do you think that that experience will affect Freya? Do you think she might be underestimating Dream Girl Ellie just based on the stature difference between these two? Yeah, I think that can definitely be a factor, although Freya is in control right now. But when you look at someone like Ellie, she was not expecting to face Freya here today. Freya is a late addition to this singles matchup, and I can tell you from experience, White Mike, I'm sure you can attest to this as well. When you prepare for one opponent and that switch up happens, that can really throw off your game, and it's gonna be very difficult to prepare for someone with the power of Freya, but Ellie doing what she can to try to get Freya off her feet, go for crossbody. Uh -oh. uh, she got caught here, though. Oh, no. Wind up. Oh! Frey would rather throw you than know you. Like a catatonic backbreaker right there. That was incredible. Now look at this cover. Oh. Pulls oh. To the chest of Ellie using that strength. You see the look Freya. on Ellie's face? She's like, please, can we just know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dropping that big elbow. Again, the endurance and the, the resource. She's got she's to stay in this and fight. She's got to try to get, uh, chop uh, Freya down. Somehow. Freya is in complete control now. Freya, as we mentioned, was set to enter the uh, first ever Ladies Night Out Battle Royal, kick things off here for Ladies Night 12. And when you're anticipating going in the ring against 12 other competitors, you get a quick change of going one on one, more of a focus. And again, uh, to touch on what Veda was saying, again, you, you mentally, mentally prepare for somebody. Goes oh. with a big leg drop, moved out of the way to Dream Girl Ellie. Ellie with an opening, a low lariat into a pinfall. And Ellie, no wasted movement. She fell right into that pin, but Freya. Card subject definitely, you know, changes, but we got to be able to adapt on our own and be like, hey, throw the playbook out the window. Well, I just want to make sure that Freya understands that she cannot underestimate Dream Girl Ellie. She cannot think this is going to be walk in the park, despite the fact that she's throwing oh. Dream Girl from <laughs> pillar Goodness. to post. Well, and Sammy, you've you've you're familiar with Ellie. You've seen her match before. You've called her matches before. You know how resilient she is. That really is. is her great strength. Oh, oh my God. And she's going to have to Good use every grief. bit of that resiliency to survive a cannonball like this. Freya. No, I think that's said. Uh, look at this cover. That's got to be a oh. no. Not today. Oh, Ellie's Freya. got too much heart. Yeah, Freya thought that she had this all wrapped up. And you see her getting in the face of the referee, arguing that that was three. It was a two count. This will continue. You see Dream Gorilla has not moved, though. She's just kind of playing with her food, essentially. You know what I mean? Freya's just been having fun. You hear the crowd come alive. It's the first time ever here for Ladies Night Out. There you go. Oh. Good. And again, chest caving chop. She's got frying pan-like hands, so to be able to get chopped by her out, no, no thank you. 
And up goes Dringarelio. This is not a good place uh -huh. for Ellie to be. This good. might all be over here. Torture about, rack. Yes. Yeah, this could be a, a submission. Ellie throwing some elbows, managing to fight her way out. This is what I was saying. The resiliency of Dream Ooh. Girl Ellie knows no bounds. Gonna try to chop, chop down this tree. I'm not gonna lie, I've been in the ring with Dream Girl Ellie. Oh. She is very resilient. And again, very educated feet from her as well. And those kicks landing there, Mark. Ooh. And now chopping down the big Ooh. redwood. Freya's all tied up. Freya's on her knees in the ropes. And listen to the fire from Dream Girl Alley. Oh. A huge drop kick with Freya's chest sandwiched between cover. the ropes. Yes. This could be it. Oh. No. Unfortunate timing off that drop kick. Frey landed on her stomach, set of her back. Oh. Alley not able to make the cover. Maybe, Maybe would have gotten to three, but just out of position there. Dream Girl Alley. He's got to stay on offense, though. He's got to bring the fight, keep bringing uh -oh. it to Freya. Oh. But look again, like the strength. Guillotine. Yeah, that front guillotine oh, choke a... is hell. Uh -oh. But Freya, Freya, oh, oh, turning it into a suplex. High and tight on the neck and shoulders right there, too. Ellie, Ellie might be out. She, she got dumped moved. right on her head. She has not moved an inch. Freya Slay with a little bit of reprieve. I believe she didn't expect Expect that from Dream Girl Alley. Both let women down here. Yeah, I bet Freya thought she was going to be in the back already, but now nah, these fans got Dream Girl Alley staying in, hanging in the fight. Big boots to the face. Now Alley going up to that top. What's she thinking here? Going oh. again for a cross. Oh! No! Freya what? turns into a power slam, cover, and again. Ella gets the shoulder up and the frustration on Freya's face. Once again, the amazing strength and control of Freya, but now she is just unleashing. And look, she's, Freya looks like she's trying to just kind of collect herself a little bit here. Yeah, Floria uh, strikes, referee had to get in there. Freya yeah. almost got disqualified. Ellie pulling herself up. Oh! oh. Big splash in the corner. Oh, we, we felt that down here. Oh, but oh. Ellie out of the way. Uh oh. With the roll up. Wait, roll up, roll up here. Wait a oh. minute. Oh. Oh. That's it. Here's your winner by Pitfall, Dream Girl Ellie. How about that upset? Freya looking frazzled. Freya. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, Freya slaying none chip pleased with a surprise win for Dream Girl Ellie. Taking out the Dream Girl after the bell. Fans showing their uh, lack of approval for Freya. Freya's herself. Freya's still saying she's still queen of the north. But though she may not look at Dream Girl Alley is the victor here tonight for Ladies Night Out that 12. That was a tough one. What a huge battle there Sheesh. between Freya the Slayer. I mean, can you believe how dominant Freya was up until those closing matches, Mike. You can definitely believe it because you see Dream Girl Ellie being helped to the back as she gets a little standing ovation for these lovely people here in Winston-Salem at the Benton Convention Center. All right, there's the bell, and here we go. This is a number one contenders match for the Ladies' Night Out Championship. The kick demon, Janai Kai, goes one-on-one -on -one with the Black Rose, La Rosa Negra. Whoever wins this matchup goes on to our main event here tonight at Ladies' Night Out 12 to face Eva Lise for the Ladies' Night Out Championship. And you heard our ring announcer. Aside from the implications later on in this event and title implications, this is also a first-time-ever matchup. We are bringing it to you from Title Match oh. Network and Ladies' Night Out. And whoa! La Rosa going right for Janai. Janai trying to turn this around, fighting over this lockup. No, I haven't been in the ring with any of these ladies. I don't know if I want to be in the ring with these ladies, especially Janai Kai, because she will kick your legs out, your head out, your arms out. She does not play. And the kick demon Janai Kai tying up with La Rosa Negra. Janai Kai considered entering MMA, decided to go the pro wrestling route. She is trained in Taekwondo, a black belt in Taekwondo, and Muay Thai kickboxing. She will literally kick your head off. Oh, you can see it. They're both definitely fighters and pro wrestlers. Look at that. Look, oh, look, she's going oh. up against the experience of right, La Rosa grip. Negra, who's coming here all the way from San Juan, Puerto Rico, wrestling with the Colognes at LAWE down in Puerto Rico, coming nice, here to WrestleCade weekend. 
That'll for a hurt. shot at the ladies' night out title. Nice headlock takeover. And whoever wins this match and goes on to face Ivelisse, number one, that will be an incredible contest. Shoot. But Ivelisse has been oh, here's the cover, cover ladies night out champion for over a thousand days she How has she that? is our only champion thus far i don't know yeah tough task for whoever comes out it, it, it makes you wonder how quickly these two are going to want to try to eliminate another but yeah. again as you said first time matchup we're still in this feeling out process yes. ladies trying to figure out what tactic to, to take against the other i was about to say that yeah definitely a feeling out process between the two if this is a first time matchup you can tell they're just you know hold for hold well, and, and White Mike, you have a, an AML championship matchup oh, later today against Brad Attitude. Can you imagine if you had to have another match? Just, whoa, denied oh. with the kicks. If you had to have another match just mo like half an hour beforehand? That, I, again, that's how you adapt and you overcome. You just got to be ready. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, and if you want to catch that AML event, you can. It's here on Title Match oh. Network. It's coming live at 4 o'clock. Now La Rosa La Negra. Oh, got Roll caught. Here. Roll Jenai. up here. That was a quick inside cradle right there. I thought La Rosa was back in control, but Janai really caught her with that oh. roll up, and now the kicks are starting. Kicked her leg out oh. of her Those leg. educated kicks from Janai Kai and got a two count. The kick demon has been unleashed. Very much. Anytime Janai Kai comes to WrestleCade or at AML event, she takes competitors' lunches. She does not play. She wants to get to that pay window. Quick slice and precise is Janai Kai. Yes. And I'm measuring La Rosa Negra, and again. They're just throwing clubs at each other, punching each other in the face and the head and oh, behind yeah, this the ear. Is, this is just a fight right Ooh. now. Oh, and you, oh. and you see Janai, she she measures those kicks. She doesn't waste a kick until she knows exactly where she's going to land. And La Rosa Negra Ow. taking advantage of that fireman carry here. Spin her around, airplane style. The strength. Oh, Ooh. and oh. Janai Kai goes face first on that top turnbuckle, and La Rosa going up top. How about using the ring to your advantage? Good yeah. job on her. That the Black Rose oh. clothesline off the top. Holds on oh. that leg and got a two count over. And you saw La Rosa, always a pro, rolled right into that cover off the lariat. No wasted motion, no wasted seconds, and still. Janai able to kick out. I think Janai Kai threw that back chop. It fired up La Rosa, yeah. and she said, let's go, sister. Ooh. Ooh. Big combo by Janai. Strike after strike. Oh. Got to maintain that wrist control. One of my Janai favorites. Kai taking the fight here to La Rosa Negra. Janai Kai is absolutely one of my favorites. It doesn't matter who she faces, what she's doing. When she comes to that curtain, that's it. Contrasting careers, he, he, here's floats right into the cover yeah, there. Yeah, shades of Barry Windham. How about that? Snap suplex into a float over. You know, La Rosa is such an accomplished athlete in the game. She's won championships all over the world. A former Mission Pro Women's Champion. She's won main event titles everywhere. She's never been Ladies Night Out champion though. But what How would it mean that? for Janai Kai to win here? Not only get a victory over La Rosa, but also get a shot at the Ladies' Night Out World Championship. Oh. There's no feeling like having a shot at a ball. Oh, ah, into a face, face buster, yeah. La Rosa with the cover, she's gonna do it. Oh. And here we are really seeing a showcase of the versatility of La Rosa Negra. She's as tough as they come, she's a scrapper, she's yes. a fighter, but she can also fly and yes. has incredibly deceptive strength. You saw Very diverse. You saw the confidence that La Rosa had just with the cover there. You see the look on her face. She cannot believe. The wheels are turning in her this, mind. She's like, what do I got to do? And again, these now these ladies know they need to put them away. They got another oh. match tonight. Whoever comes Ooh. out tonight. Oh, with this oh. Kicks. Kick oh. for kicks. But that Janai oh, colliding man. with the knee. You can see her clutching her La shin Rosa, right there. You hit somebody a leg kick to the head, man. The head's definitely harder than the shin. He could fracture and or break that shin. Yeah, La Rosa's knee got taken right out from under her. They're both down official. We're gonna have to start a count. We talk about the, that, that measure kick that Janai likes to implement. That's why she usually waits for the perfect moment. She can take herself out with the strength she puts behind those kicks. Yes. Better watch out, and here comes oh. Janai. Oh. Ran right through her. Oh, oh again, another sweep. strike just cuts. Back to that leg again. Picking her apart. Oh! oh. You're going to hear that strike. I just saw the soul leave La Rosa Negra's body. I might have would have went for a cover right there, maybe. The Janai is on fire. 
Well, she might not. Oh, yeah, she sometimes, sometimes she gets in these zones <laughs> yeah. straight, where she just goes. Straight See, worried about kick. a cover. Low looked like a chest mire under oh. the throat. Now another one to the back. Top of the shoulder blade. Oh, another Lethal one. Lethal strikes. See the pain on La Rosa's face. Like, please stop. So the Black Rose is in a bad oh. way here. Janai's kicks. Uh -oh. Going for those. La Rosa trying to block it, but to no avail. Those chaos kicks connecting. Again, you, oh. get, you get kicked hard enough in the spine, you're not able to stay up. You're not able to use your appendages. You're hurt, you know? You're wondering what's happening. La Rosa finally able to block. La Rosa getting to her feet, going to fire up maybe. Uh-oh. Little weave under. To her shoulders, fireman's carry. Oh, big DVD. That was a quick valley driver. And now going up top. La Rosa has one of the best frog splashes in the entire game. Oh. If she hits this, it has to be over. Going for that rose splash. Janai in a bad way. Oh, oh Janai out of the what? way. La Rosa no found nobody home. No water in the proverbial pool. But again, you see Janai holding on to that knee. Yeah, she might have. Holding on that now, shin uh, there. Oh, shin splint, thumb kick. Again, that's. Oh, Tornado kick. Behind the ear, that could be it. The demonish oh. kick connects. Oh. We've got a number one contender. Janai Kai connects with that demonish kick, and she will go on to our main event to challenge Eva Lise for the Ladies' Night Out Championship. TitleMatchNetwork.com. Introducing first from Orlando, Florida, she is the top team, Jasmine Alou. Hurricane Pro Women's Championship is on the line as the big buzz Danny B defends against top tier Jasmine Lore. This is sure to be a classic. There's the bell and here we go. Big buzz Danny B has been dominant at Hurricane Pro since coming onto the scene. Defeating Lady Frost, become a dominant champion in the women's division here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And top tier Jasmine Allure seemingly laughing off the show for respect. And then there's a sign of disrespect slapped right to the face of our champion. And we are kicking things off with a fired up Jasmine Allure. Talking trash to the crowd and to Danny B. She puts her foot right in the face of our champion. We've seen these two tangle up here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling before. Here, this is a one on one for the first time for the Hurricane Pro Women's title, though. And there you see our champion, Danny B. Bringing it to Jasmine Lord just as viciously as top tier Jasmine has been doing so thus far. Easy grabbing the hair now out of the side of the referee. This is not a no disqualification matchup. It's the power game from the big buzz. Change up there, Jasmine Lord with the drop down. Cover here from Danny B. But Danny B outsmarting top tier Jasmine Lord who goes to the outside and asks for a timeout. One of the most coveted titles in all of Hurricane Pro Wrestling, the women's Women's Championship has been the cornerstone of this promotion for some time. And these two taking the fight to the outside now. Top tier Jasmine Lore. So young, so early in her career, she's already been making a name for herself on the Texas scene. This is the first ever Mission Pro Wrestling Women's Champion, trained by Jazz and Rodney Mack. And has gotten to know all of the top women in this scene 
And she looks to take that pedigree to our defending champion, Danny B. So earlier tonight, Charity King just dominating here at Hurricane Pro. This division has never been on more fire than it is right now. And Danny B, with a target on her back, has to stay focused now. But speaking of her back, going spine first into that metal guardrail here on the outside. And the referee giving a lot of lateral to these two ladies. Now Jasmine finally throwing Danny into the ring. This match can only be won inside those ropes. Here's the cover and a two count. For Jasmine, we're arguing with the referee. Jasmine Lore just viciously assaulting Danny B from the get-go here, maintaining that drive, that attack here. On the big buzz, and the referee getting right in there. Jasmine Lore does not want to risk getting counted out. She does not want to get risk getting disqualified. This is for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Nice snap suplex from top tier. Jasmine in a Another kick out from Danny B. Your fault. Oh, yeah. looking to set up for another suplex. Oh, Danny reversed it into the roll up and near fall of her own. And Jasmine just cuts our champion right back down. And again, look at this. I mean, you're not going to pin Danny B that way. That's just Jasmine adding more attitude, and keeping on offense on Danny B, not just physically, but mentally. Keeping the champion down using these vicious strikes to the back. Da Jasmine Lore is fired up here tonight. Jasmine considers herself one of the absolute best in women's wrestling today and almost feels like she feels disrespected that they didn't hand her the championship from the get go. You don't get handed things here at Hurricane Pro, you have to earn them as Danny B goes up top and goes for a cross body, but Jasmine moves out of the way. Danny B found nobody home but caught Jasmine there. Now set her up, big backdrop. And just like that, Danny B folding up top tier. You see her hiding block high and tight on that neck and got a two count only. Danny B showing she can be just as vicious as the challenger, Jasmine Lore here. Two of the best women going today. There's a reversal there from Jasmine Lore, big knee lift. And then just grabbing the hair again, right back down. Simple but effective offense there. And Lacks needs some cover and got a two count. Here's another. Forcing these falls, forcing Danny B. Use all of her energy, all of her might to continue to kick out, get that shoulder up, and now just mounting. And again, grabbing the leg into the mounting pinning position. And again, Danny B able to kick out. And you see the frustration growing on top tier Jasmine Allure. There's a snap mare putting our champion right in the center of the ring. Jasmine Lord now changing up her tactics, trying to wear down the champion. Danny has been a fighting champion since capturing that championship many months ago and looks to continue to fight here. Looks to try to fight up to a vertical loose. Jasmine Lair says no. She's got Danny B right where she wants her. Jasmine showing why she's been showing up everywhere, whether it's WOW Women of Wrestling, whether it's All Elite Wrestling, whether it's Wildcat Sports, but Danny B finally able to reverse, turn the tide here, and now giving Jasmine Moore a taste of her own medicine. And there's another reversal here, both these ladies maintaining risk control. You can see the anguish on the face of Danny B. Referee right there to ask her if she wants to give it up. She says emphatically no. This is for everything. This is for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Danny B finally fighting out of it. Still made finally some separation for the first time. And there's a big back elbow. Jasmine Lord not getting what she was looking for there. And again, eating some feet on the return. Now face buster there from Danny B and meets a big kick right to the face. These two ladies throwing every single thing they have at one another and now the big buzz with a big comeback here on top tier saying that it's all over, maybe looking for that plan B. 
Is that enough? But no, Jeff is able to get the shoulder up. And you see Danny B arguing with the referee saying that that had to be it. But top tier Jasmine Allure bringing top tier competition to our champion. Now Danny B saying it's all over again, but Jasmine able to slip out of it. She's got spying right on the knee of Jasmine Lord. Now looking for that top tier, that teardrop. Is that it? Is that enough? No, Danny B able to get the shoulder up and look at the anguish on the face of Jasmine Lord. Jasmine Lord believes that this was it. Danny B rolling out these people, not sl slowing down one bit, both of these ladies. Keeping it in fourth gear. There's the Thunderstruck DDT. Now that's got to be it. Danny B with the cover. She's going to retain the Hurricane Pro. No, wait a minute. What the hell? Miranda Alizé. Miranda Alizé, the former Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. Getting in the face of Danny B. Now what the hell is this all about? Referee trying to eject the Lucha Batty from out of here. Now wait a minute. Jasmine Moore trying to... Pick the bones here. Wait a minute. Roll up. Wait, Jam just got the tights. Wait, what the hell? Oh my God! Coming out of the match, and the new Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Jasmine Arlo. Thanks to Miranda Alize, we have a new. Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Jasmine Lord just stole the championship from Danny B. Danny B looks distraught, but oh, they're not done yet. What the hell? What the hell is this? An all out assault. Jasmine Lord, Miranda Alize viciously attacking Danny B after the match. Adding insult to injury. What is Miranda Alize's motivation here? It can't be about the championship. You just handed the title from, from Danny B to Jasmine Allure. And Jasmine's not done yet. And there's the Wizzy guy. Miranda, one of the most dominant superstars in Hurricane Pro history, is putting out so many with that shining wizard. And now, what is this new alliance? What does this mean? Why are Miranda Alizé and Jasmine Delore together? Well, like it or not, Jasmine does have a lot to celebrate. We have a new Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. The championship has gone top tier with Jasmine Delore. What the hell? TitleMatchNetwork.com
Shane do it. She hails from Buffalo, New York. Follow her on Instagram at Brandy Lauren underscore. Everybody rise and applaud for the superstar, Brandy Lauren. And anytime you want to have a seat, Mr. Putty, anytime you want to have a seat, let me know. That's why AJ had to do it, because Shane couldn't do it like that. Yeah, I think he could have. Tough task for Nikki Duke here in her debut match against Brandi Lauren. Starts with AJ Pan in her corner. Got a stretch, small uh, move. Yeah, yeah, sure. I want to point out that Nikki Duke already stretched prior to this contest while she was waiting 45 minutes for Miss Lauren and uh, AJ Pendejo to get into the ring. Wow, what, how rude. I know, AJ Pan's you, rude. You rude. I think Brandy's ready now. And there we go. Is that AD's intern? Yep, intern Jerry is your official, and you know. Smart move by the governor. Sometimes he's uh, as crooked as a haunted house painting, you know what I'm saying? I don't say it's crooked. I guess he wants to be hands-on to see how his intern does. Brandy Lauren to go around. Brandy Lauren now controlling the waist lock. Nikki Duke trying to fight out of that clamp and goes under. Tries to dominate the left arm with that top wrist lock. Doesn't have it firmly, but firmly enough to control Brandy, Michael. And there she is, which reverses it. Brings Dickie to her knees. Yeah, very quickly. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. From the cartwheel to the counter. Innovative defense. Now with the wrist lock firmly in control. Can Lauren follow suit? Oh. Is, is she wrestling in slow motion? That's a 10. That's a 10. Great move. Right. And do Oh, whoa. Wow. Great follow-up to the cover. Victory roll from the oh. cartwheel. You got to love that. You do Nikki have to love Duke that. Duke realizing that she just covered a television star. Yeah, and almost got the three count. Smart move. Beautiful. Beautiful connect to the back of the head of Brandy Lauren. She can, okay. I just got to check on her. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful handspring elbow. Nikki Duke's got to follow up. I can appreciate her wanting, wanting the sympathy of his fans. And AJ Pan, as usual, getting involved. No, that should not be legal. Uh, Randy yep. just rolled out of the way. Yeah, no, he physically put his hands on his client. That should be a disqualification. What are you watching now? Brandy's back in the ring. Great mind games played here by Brandy Lauren. Brandy is manipulating. The basic rules of this singles contest. Look, she's literally toying with, ah, oh, literally toying with Nikki Duke. And now utilizing the ring post as a weapon. All legal here. Not doing anything illegal here, right? Welcoming Nikki Duke to BCW the proper way. That, that's what you call welcoming somebody. Get him the hell away from me. That's what you call welcoming somebody? She okay? He's not a medic. He's a manager. He should not be checking her in that. Yeah, America's favorite agent. Ref up to a five count. Nikki Duke rolls back in. Welcome to the boot to the face. Now stomping away at her in the corner. Look at this. Oh, uh, Lauren. Just completely putting pressure on the back of the head and neck. Right on the crown with the heel of the foot there. Come on. And the hard part of the ring, too. That nose has no giveaway there. Yeah. Go for the cover. A great point. Hook the leg. Two. Two count. Ref Jerry. Excellent position there. Intern Jerry being very fair as of right now, being very objective. Did you think otherwise? 
Well, I mean, yeah. <gasps> oh, this is form. Have you seen his previous refereeing jobs? You got this. No comment. Got her onto the bottom rope there. Going to oh. hang her up. Oh. Got a neck snap back. Yeah. That guillotine, that'll eradicate anybody. And Lauren. Drags her, hooks the leg. This is it. Thanks for coming. Oh. Two. Look at that. Randy getting frustrated. She can't get too frustrated. The ever beautiful vixen that is Brandy Lauren continues with that modified dragon sleeper. Center of the ring on top of that. Duke's got nowhere to go. Nowhere. That's that's locked in. Oh, come on. Now she's tapping out. That's not, that a tapping. that's not of her own will. It's not of her own will. Wow. I thought she tapped too. Brandon Lauren getting frustrated here. Whoops it to the ropes. Duke oh. hangs on. Oh, but Lauren it. catches it. Oh, no. Oh, that's a spill. Wow. Landed really hard. Yeah, could have taken out her hip. Could have. And now, oh, they're in front of us, guys. Oh, no. Bounce off the ropes. With a, oh, oh wow. right in front of us. And, and Duke literally right, right in front of collapsing. Us. We, we have got to get this away from the commentary area. Do we? Oh, and now Lauren going hurt. back in the ring. At least she's breaking the count. That's good. Holding her ankle. Those high-risk moves. Oh, yes! Whoa. Yes! yes! What? It is Christmas! No! Yes! That's what he's not, that's not called for. Yes! That is the governor Check here. Up. That Check is up. the governor. Oh, right, but Lauren makes the save. Nikki yeah. Duke brought the greatest Christmas gift of all time. Someone check on AJ. Is he okay? Get with the medics. He's an independent contractor. He's got insurance. That was amazing. Yes. Now, Nikki Duke spilling it. Brandy Lauren to the Nikki outside. Nikki Duke will not be denied. This has been a handicap match from the bell. How does a handicap match? I can completely identify with her frustrations. Now you're getting personal. You're becoming biased here. Crowd and from the getting behind Duke here. Fraternity getting behind Duke. Is AJ okay? Randy okay? There's no timeouts in wrestling, Pan. There's no timeouts. You need to control yourself. You are a commentator. You're a commentator. Is she okay? Intern Jerry's got to get a count going. This. She's hurt. Brandy Lauren now back into the ring. Ducks the clothesline. Answers with a clothesline of her own. Can Nikki follow up? She does. Another clothesline knocking Brandy Lauren down. AJ in the... Yes! Oh, no. In the face! Hit him in the face! Brandy with a... Down. Gets going to cover. Nikki Duke almost had the three count there. Just got a near fall. What is her problem with AJ Penn? Her problem is that AJ Pan and Brandy Lauren worked for Amazon. It took them two business days to get back in the ring. AJ, you okay? Someone check on him. Nikki Duke, firm control. He needs to attack Brandy Lauren while she is down. Oh. Hey. oh and again, he inserts himself into the match. What do you expect when it's getting punched in the face? Oh. That'll do it. One, two. Wow, what a tough, tough match that was. Get the hell away from me! Brandy Lauren just won a handicap match. TitleMatchNetwork.com. Making a return, you have to imagine she wants to immediately hop back into the winning ways. You don't go away for a while just to come back and hope to end up on the lower part of the card. You want to be in championship contention here, Lexi. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Walker. But of course, Queen Uju herself has suffered a couple of losses recently, so I am sure that that is also on her mind. I'm certain that it's, it's definitely not somewhere she wants to be, but uh, a, a losing streak of sorts is what we're seeing out of Uju the past few months, and 
to imagine. She's looking to turn that around here. But one of the biggest flaws we've seen out of Uju's competitive game thus far in Mission Pro Wrestling has been things like this where she doesn't seem to like to take her opponents too seriously. And Nova Phoenix, this rising Phoenix, is not one you want to overlook. Oh my goodness, absolutely not. Two of the biggest women on the roster this evening, both, if not over six foot tall, towering over me even in my heels. This is going to be a very physical match. And quite a verbal match by the looks of it as well. Definitely is. Nova Phoenix has had enough of Uju's antics here tonight. Referee MJ Bell trying to separate these two women. And this is the physicality I expected to see out of this match right here. Nova Phoenix, a very physical competitor. I've seen this woman all the way in my neck of the woods in Oklahoma, all the way down here in San Antonio, Texas. Phoenix has been incredibly violent all throughout her time in our sport competing on the highest levels you can imagine on the uh, on the texas independent wrestling space and she's won championships almost everywhere that she's gone one of the places that she has not done so however does happen to be a mission pro you have to think that she's returned to mission pro with vengeance on her mind yeah i'm sure that is on her mind and she wants to come out of this returning match with the win to propel her forward onto her, her next step her next championship perhaps while Uju, as we mentioned, suffering a multitude of losses as of recent. Most definitely because she, some might say, has not exactly taken her opponents too seriously. We're starting to see a little bit of that here. The confidence of Uju tends to be the thing that bites her in the behind when all is said and done. You cannot be too overconfident, I don't think, with a competitor like uh, Nova Phoenix. Of course, 10 years of professional experience in the squared circle. Second generation star is Nova Phoenix. And that second generation expertise is coming into play right now. Oh, right Ooh. into that turnbuckle post. These two women there are going to take you all around the Salvation Army Mission Corps here tonight. Whatever damage they are doing, though, they have got to bring it back into the ring win this matchup. Oh, good God! Pinfall or submission in the center of the ring is, is definitely how both of these women would like to win the matchup. However, this matchup can end on a disqualification or a count out. It certainly can, but I can't imagine that that is the result that either of these women want. When you walk up into a matchup like this, you want to walk away with a definitive victory, a definitive decision, one that most likely to go in your favor. The crowd certainly seeming to be behind Nova Phoenix here. Phoenix into the cover. Two. Three says just a two count. This matchup rolls on. Phoenix not just fiery in name, fiery in spirit, fiery in heart. One of the toughest competitors that you are going to find. I can't imagine a better show then for her to come back than Boiling Point. Absolutely. Temperature of 104 degrees in here in San Antonio. <laughs> and things certainly heating up in the ring right now between these two. And they're going to continue to heat up all throughout the evening, not to mention, of course, our semi-main event. We mentioned it earlier on. The highly anticipated matchup, the debut of one Izzy Moreno, will be taking on Jasmine Delore in our semi-main event. Of course, our main event coming up very, very soon will end up being Tiffany Nieves challenging for the very first time for the Mission Pro Championship against one genocide. Yeah, those two are certainly must-see matches in my book. That and much more to come. Nova Phoenix has been dominant in this affair so far against Uju. Nigerian bombshell. Both of these women, you're, you're going to notice this the longer that this matchup rolls on. But both of these women have a, more of a power-based style when it comes to the squared circle. Phoenix in the cover. Can that power-based help her here? No, the power does not. Uju managing to power out. That pinning attempt. Phoenix doing everything in her power, trying to will this crowd on her side. That can certainly be the deciding element sometimes, especially if you're down and frustrated, having that crowd behind you. 
to give you that momentum back. Phoenix. What are we seeing here? German suplex. Dropping Uju right on the back of her own neck. Can this be it? This can be it right here. The cover. Two counts. What le What does Nova Phoenix have left in the bag, I wonder? This is the question that is not only on our minds, but the fans here at Mission Pro Wrestling in San Antonio. It has to be on the mind of Uju as well. Phoenix coming in. The house of fire, no pun intended. It is boiling point tonight, folks. Nova Phoenix out of the corner. Knee strike. Nearly decapitating your opponent. As we mentioned all throughout the, out the night, and we're going to continue to mention throughout the night, consistent and perpetual offense is the name of the game here, especially in a contest like this. Two very evenly sized competitors. Absolutely, and Nova Phoenix is... Wait, hold on a minute. Oh. Cover. Two is counter. certainly delivering that to Uju. What else can Uju take? She's taking a barrage of hits and falls. Folks, if you want to join the conversation, don't forget all social media platforms, hashtag MPW Boiling Point. Don't forget to tag your favorite professional athletes and Mission Pro Wrestling. Nova Phoenix. Look at the strength here of Phoenix. Being able to lift a woman the size of Uju is incredible. As you mentioned earlier on, six foot two plus. To the middle rope goes Uju. Up and oh. down, diving back breaker. Combination offense to cover. This matchup is over. So it is Uju who ends that losing streak tonight here at Boiling Point. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the KFW Championship. In this corner, your challenger, wearing the Caribbean blue and the black. She is the first ever NWA Women's Television Champion. She is the Tribune of Tennessee, Kenzie And in this corner, From Mexico City, the Juice. He is your KFW champion, Woo! ladies and gentlemen. A Lucha legend, Juventud Guerrero.
Hubachud Guerrera not waiting for the bell. Kinsey with a deep arm drag, and now bell wrong. We are underway with one of the biggest main events in KFW history, KFW title on the line. Not only the first ever intergender match from Hubachud Guerrera, his first title defense. And in the six years Kinsey Page has been in KFW, this is her first shot at the title. Suicide dive from Kinsey Page, wiping out the luchador legend. Kinsey sends Hoovy back into the ring. Crossbody connects, cover is made, and Hoovy kicks out. When you think of the great, hold on, cover, no, cover made again. Kinsey trying to make this quick work here. Put away Hoovy dude, cover made once more. It's gonna take a lot more than that to put away the Lucha legend. Oh, face first into the middle turnbuckle. You think back about all the greats that Juventud Guerrero has shared the ring with. Of course, you look at his history career. Of course, that's a WCW, obviously cruiserweight champion there, cruiserweight champion in WWE, wrestled in AAA, has faced all the greats, Rey Mysterio, Ultimo Dragon, Eddie Guerrero, all these great names, and now mixing it up with a future legend in Kenzie Page. Kinsey, no stranger to championships. Oh, going for a shot. Faked her out. The right hand sweeps the leg. Of course, Kinsey Page, no stranger to championships. She's made history herself. First ever NWA Women's Television Champion. Former Women's Tag Team Champion. Booty pumps the brakes. Oh, playing games now with Kinsey Page. Kinsey, of course, also the long cover made from Hoobitude. Kinsey, of course, the longest reigning champion in New South Pro Wrestling history. The keeper of the Mongol belt. Two of the most decorated superstars in KFW. Dragon leg screw there from Hoovy. And the crowd here showing no sympathy for Kinsey Page. Kinsey now crawling way over towards her dad, grabbing the ropes. Hoovy swings Kinsey around, drags her to the center of the ring. Stomp to the midsection. Of course, Hoovichuk Guerrero made history, winning the KFW Championship off of Colby Carino all the way back in October at Black Harvest. This is his first defense of the championship. What a tough battle he has in front of him, facing off with Kinsey Page. And despite the harsh words said before the match, it hurts Tommy Henry. And obviously, all the uh, chaos Tommy has caused tonight. But you gotta imagine, first ever intergender match for Juventud Guerrero has to show that there is, on some level, some respect there between Hoovy and Kinsey for him to even consider taking this match. Kinsey, of course, has battled time and time again with some of the biggest, toughest competitors all across the Southeast, all across the country. Hoovy brings her down. Certainly using that experience to his advantage, going needs to slow down the younger Kinsey Page. Kinsey definitely has a lot of stamina. A lot of heart, a lot of fire. By slowing down Kinsey Page this early on, trying to make her use a lot more gas in the tank. Everyone in the locker room, pound for pound. Kinsey Page, one of the hardest strikers in the locker room as both competitors now wiped out. Kinsey sent face first.
Kinsey, of course, shocks the fans here. Oh, no, no, no. Speaking of shock, roll through Cradle. No. Quickly transitions into the crossface. Hoovy trying to stop himself from tapping out. Hoovy managed to make his way, foot on the bottom rope. Trying to wheel himself on. Kinsey. Viciously keeping this attack going. Like a shark smelling blood in the water, nose has to stay on top of her opponent. Hoovy again making his way to the bottom rope and oh, pulling the mask off. Disrespect here. And of course, according to luchador tradition in Mexico, if you strip your opponent of the mask, then the match ends in a disqualification. Of course, that's not the case here. Disrespecting the legend of Juventud Guerrera. As Juventud now in the corner. And stiff shots from Kinsey Page. Raining down with these blows as Hoovy showing some signs of life, trying to find out. Oh, no, no. Hooks the legs. Hooks the legs. Center of the ring. Power bomb. Kinsey Page folded in half. Cover mate. No. So close. And it's not often we see the power game of Hoovy to Guerrero. Cover mate again. Just how much was taken out of Kinsey. Of course, not just after that power bomb, but all, think about all the energy expended from kicking out. That's a lot of weight to be across the chest, using your entire body to kick out. Now, Hoovy heading up top, somewhere he's very comfortable with. Perhaps not as comfortable now. Now sitting on the top turnbuckle is Kinsey Page climbing up top to meet him. Well, we're on the shoulders, precariously positioned, high atop the ring ropes here. Oh, the first, oh, Kinsey's head pops through. Cheeky Nando's from Hoobintude. Super kick through the legs. Kinsey could be absolutely out of it. Hockey pin there, shades of uh, someone who he is very familiar with, the one Chris Jericho. Let's oh, think about all the legendary battles Hoobitu Gura had with Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho, of course, the person who stripped Hoobie of the mask to begin with back in WCW. Now, right now, Kenzie Page being stretched. All oh, that glory special. No, no, Kenzie rolls through. Kenzie rolls through. Cover my no. That sunset flip just about had him. Sweeps the leg again. Kenzie tenacious. Frequent pinfalls. It does not take but three seconds. Backslide made. High angle, no. Come on, stay on me. Stay on me. I thought going for one more, but instead. Double neck breaker coming up off the ropes. Building up a head of steam. Clothesline from Kinsey Page in the leg is hooked. Only a one. Hoovy is fired up. Cover made again. No, no, no. 2.75. Very close here. The Lucha legend keeping that title around his waist thus far. Kinsey just dropped him. Oh, 
Hoovy slips through, sweeps the leg now. Has up going for the Hoovy driving out. Kinsey rolls through, hooks the tights. She hooks the tights. Still only a two. Ducks the lariat now. Kinsey took the roll, head scissors back into that cross face. That same cross face has been locked in. Third time now. Could this be the charm for Kinsey Page? Moving to Guerrero, digging deep, doing everything he can to keep himself from tapping. You see him going to make the motion to tap, having to stop himself because he knows the second he does that championship, moves over to Kinsey now, off the ropes, not breaking the hold, rolls through instead, using that momentum to carry Kinsey Page forward onto the shoulders. Puts a leg, two, three, and that is it. Who it through Guerrero retains. TitleMatchNetwork.com Rachel is trying Rachel is trying to get the crowd riled up. Haley doesn't need to get riled up at all. Haley goes digging. What the hell? Looks like a sock. I am actually a little bit surprised that there's anybody in this arena chanting Hollywood's name. Yeah. 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 Oh. Isaac, you're going to have your, have your, your work cut out I don't know how tonight, Isaac buddy. is going to keep these women contained until this bell rings. The crowd chanting, let them fight. We've been waiting for this a long time. Since the end of Rise of the Vixens 2, have we been waiting to see this matchup? That is right. This match has definitely been a long time coming. And, and there's there we the go. bell. I don't think that Haley needs to do any more work to rile up Rachel. That is right. Haley about to give Rachel a free shot. I'm not sure that was a wise decision, Jacob. And powering her into, into the corner. Into the corner. Rapid fire shots from the queen. Rachel. Rachel with a tackle as if she's trying to audition for the Texans' D-line. Now in firm control on top, throwing those punches. Isaac's only in there to count a pinfall or a submission. And Rachel all kinds of fired up. We talked about this being familiar territory for Promise Braxton, but Emily, how about Rachel Rose? That is right, the current the Diamonds champion. That is correct, the current reigning and defending Diamonds champion. As Haley on the outside, maybe calling for, calling for a, a Haley might be trying to readjust her game plan. Throws that chair at the charging Rachel Rose, she caught that one square on the head. Right, and, and now Haley tying up that Haley. leg on the bottom rope. And again, I talked about how Isaac is only there. Oh! Oh! Isaac's only there to count a pinfall or a submission. Haley has got a bamboo cane and she going after. She going straight after Rachel's legs, which is a smart move. She can't nail that shining wizard. She can't Haley nail that super Jay kick. Goes under the ring, comes back with a chain. Rachel. And Rachel Rose. Rachel's got one of those canes. For that bamboo cane. has got one of those canes. Haley asking the queen to put down the cane. She'll put it down if you put it down. Maybe. There's a lot, a lot you know, of 
passion in this match. They're Definitely a lot of passion. Uh, very fired I, up. You know, Rachel has seen Star Wars more times than I care to admit. Uh, so we're about to see the, uh, the Texas City equivalent of a lightsaber fight with some bamboo canes. That is right. Ooh. And oh. And you could hear the crack from those canes echoing Training here in the shots arena. shots with those canes back and forth. That is a stinging, stinging shot. Oh. Caught the cane and returned back to Rachel. These girls are just teeing off on one another. As Haley goes, goes into her, into bag, her of bag of tricks. And the chair is out. She's going to wedge it in the corner. You know, Rachel is looking a little worse for wear. Haley, though, has bad intent in the corner. Oh. As she lands a swift kick to the face. Hollywood thanking the one person in here crazy enough to be chanting for her. And now, just laying in. And this crowd starting to get behind Rachel. As we said, Rachel Rose is the current reigning and defending Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division Champion. It's no surprise that people would be behind her here tonight. Haley James is an unknown entity to a lot of these people, except for the one very enthusiastic fan in the second row. Rachel fighting back. Rachel with the Irish whip, reversed, able to stop able herself. Able to put the brakes on. Backs up Haley with an elbow. And now. Oh. oh, that one cost Rachel big time. Went for a very interesting cover, but Haley James with that leverage just kicked Rachel square into that chair. And Rachel into down the on the outside. Rachel on the outside right in front of us. Rachel. Now Haley James with that, with that, that dog that chain around the throat of Rachel Rose just dragging her at ringside. Up against those steel steps. Rachel's face bouncing off the top of those steel steps. Those steel steps weigh more than Haley James does soaking wet. And As Rachel, Rachel whipping Haley James with that with chain. That chain. A These two women hate each Haley other with Jay. a burning passion of a thousand suns. And Ooh, there's the chop. And a big chop from Haley. And Haley wedging that, the leg of Rachel into those steel steps. And it's a, it's a, it is a dirty move, but it is a smart move. Again, we talked about how dangerous Rachel is with those kicks. That shining wizard, that super kick that has become her signature. Haley trying to take that away from her here tonight. That is right, trying to ground Rachel Rose. Haley. Haley asking the important questions like she didn't bring a garbage Hello, can. Where are the weapons? I need that. Taking the hammer from the that's my, that's the my bell keeper. You brought you brought the garbage can, Haley! I don't like her very much. As Rachel, Rachel is hobbled on the stamble, outside, she may not be able to stammer walk. Stammer to her feet. Still down on the outside. Her little leg. Her little leg. And a chair into the leg of Rachel Rose. Rachel just trying to fight back. Haley lays in that chair shot and just tosses it aside like yesterday's lunch. This crowd trying to will Rachel Rose on. Oh! And Rachel reverses. Rachel counters that Irish whip. Haley right into the corner. That ring post has no give. That is solid steel. As Rachel uses the steps to brace herself. Back up on her feet. 
Rachel at least back to a vertical base for the time standing, trying to will some life back into that leg. And now Rachel charges in. The big spear, the spear to the outside. And Haley's down. She might have cracked a rib on that one. And now Isaac counting both women down. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if either of these women is going to be able to walk out of here on their own volition. Haley able at least to get back on her feet. She's rolling back into the ring. Rachel using the barricade to pull herself to her feet. And this match will continue. And Haley, Haley going for those bamboo canes, got both of them. Both canes just going to town on Rachel Rose. And now using that cane to choke the life out of her opponent. Emily, we knew this thing was gonna be violent. We know how badly these women have wanted to go after each other. Rachel, Rachel has Rose. Been, Rachel has been asking for this Hitting the back match. of the knee of Hollywood. Rachel's been asking for this match since the end of Rise of the Vixens 2. Hollywood Haley J, the reason why she walked out of Rise of the Vixens 2, not as the Vixens champion. That is right. As Rachel tees off this on Haley is about a little retribution bit. Retribution for Rachel Rose. Finally, as with it. Hollywood Bambu trying to Rome. beg her off in the corner. But if you're Rachel Rose, what reason do you have to back off? The crowd saying one more time, they want to see Haley, Haley rolling to the outside. Wisely rolling to the outside. Rachel. So Rachel giving chase. I wouldn't use that crutch if I were you. One of you is going to need it to walk out you of here. You might need it. And Haley J with that bamboo cane to Rachel again. Violent, violent shots. These women fighting with every ounce of their being. This is a true grudge match, ladies and gentlemen. This is something that we don't see every day. This is something that we pull out for special occasions. And Rachel caught that cane and now returning those swings to Haley. And now getting inventive. Rachel tosses it away. She's gonna go hand to hand here but you can still see Rachel favoring that leg and Hollywood right back on the attack going right after the leg with that crutch Haley says she's going to break a kneecap Haley swinging for the fences teeing off on Rachel's leg Haley says she is not losing but Rachel trying to maintain proximity. Oh, oh into, and the, into barricade. the barricade goes the queen. Steel barricade, very little give there. You saw it shift. And now Haley going back after the crutch. And a drop kick from Haley into that crutch. That was Rachel violent. Rose. Haley seems to enjoy, be enjoying herself quite a bit here tonight, relishing in the violence that she is able to unleash on Rachel Rose. As Rachel throwing Haley into, into that barricade. barricade. And now stomping away. Maybe it's not such a great idea to leave, leave Rachel with at least one good leg.
the history here between these two women, both of them. Haley snuck into the crowd, Rachel following her. Both of them want to walk out of here with a victory. Rachel willing to brawl in the crowd. The big chop from Rachel Rose. When we said this was a street fight, we meant it was a street fight. What, what did she just put on her head? Ladies and gentlemen, these two women are going to, we've heard the fight forever chants before in many different arenas at many different wrestling events. If someone started chanting that now, both of these women would likely oblige. That is right. Both of these women very headstrong, not wanting to give up. Yeah, you want to talk about, There's you want to talk about two of the most stubborn women you will ever meet in your life. You could not imagine any two more hard-headed women than these two to put them both in a match. I don't know what we expected other than complete and utter chaos. Amen to here that. And, if you, and that's just stubbornness in general if you don't put the history in there. There's so much history with these two women. Yeah, there's so much here. As so much Haley animosity. Looking for perhaps a suplex on right Ooh, on onto to the, the ramp. ramp. And Isaac staying on top of things. As Hollywood. Hollywood and Rachel getting dueling chance here tonight. As they make their way back Haley into the ring. Haley throws Rachel back into the ring. You've got Haley pressing that advantage. Just thrusting palms first into Rachel's chest, looking to break that sternum, crush the diaphragm, make it hard for Rachel to breathe. She's already practically on one leg. Ooh, and, and another chop. chop. I'll tell you what, Emily, you don't often see Rachel on the ropes like this. I can't imagine, I can't remember a time in recent memory where Rachel Rose hasn't been in stiff competition, hasn't held pace, but Rachel is really getting it taken to her here tonight. And Rachel firing back up. Maybe I spoke too soon. Rachel might be getting that second wind. Trying to will some life back into that leg. Going for that running there's knee. there's the running knee. Slams Haley back into that middle turnbuckle. Stiff drop kick to the back. And now Rachel fired up. She can feel it. Goes for a cover. One, two, no. Only a two count. We this are. This crowd back behind Rachel Rose. The crowd firmly behind Rachel at this point. Rachel, who wants to walk out of here, closing this chapter against Haley J. But Haley taking full advantage of this street fight setting, knowing that anything goes. And sometimes, short arm clothesline into a cover. One, two. Sometimes Only Emily. Only a two count there, both women down. Sometimes Emily, you just gotta do what you have to do to pull out the win. And the fans here may not like it, but Haley J is, very much oh. suited for this environment as she tosses that garbage can into the small of the back of Rachel Rose. And she goes to the outside. She's grabbing that other chair. Haley, a devious little street demon if I've ever seen one. Has got that chair. I see two, three fans here cheering for Haley. I'm not going to lie and say that Haley J isn't charismatic, but 
I am surprised by the level of support she's getting here tonight. Everything that she's done, her actions, her behavior, for her to get cheered in any way, shape, or form tonight is astounding. As Rachel lays it in with, with a vicious chair, chair shot. It's hard for me to even. Oh, Haley. Now Haley with a chair shot of her own. And Rachel like is down. A, would you like to place a wager as to what both of these women's emergency room bills is going to be at the end of the night? As Rachel oh, kicks Jacob. the chair out, trying to create some separation. And Rachel going for that chair. Rachel looking to do some damage here. Rachel's got a chair. Oh, and now Haley trying to beg her off. Trying to plead her case to the queen. And Rachel, that may be the only time I've ever seen Rachel show mercy and she might live to regret it. Haley takes advantage of Rachel's good nature, whatever little is left there, and goes for the cover one, two, but it's not enough. Emily, Rachel kicked out. That is, yes, she did. That had to have just been desperation. Even Haley is a little bit surprised. As is everyone in the World Gym Arena right now. Oh, what's, what's, what's she doing here? What's Hollywood draping Rachel against the ropes? Rachel is dazed. She's got to be seeing stars at this point. I'm not sure Rachel knows that she's in Texas City. I'm not sure that Rachel Rose knows that she's in a fight. Oh. But Hollywood going under the ring here again. She's got ill intent on her mind. Oh, and this is remnants of Rise of the Vixens, too. Hollywood has got that duct tape again. This was at the end of Rise of the Vixens, too. You saw it. She duct taped Rachel Rose to the ropes. That is the only reason she did not leave as champion that night. And she tried it again, but Rachel is not going to let that happen here in Texas City. Not going to let that happen twice. Fool me once, shame on me. Luthez press, and there's the fists. Full mouth and throwing Rachel blows. Rose is fired up right now. Rachel Rose has got the chair. Super kick and into the chair. And, and Haley J is thrown for a loop here now. Rachel off the ropes, off with her head, onto the chair. And Rachel goes for the cover. One, two, three. Rachel Rose has won the Texas City Street Fight. Rachel Rose. Both of these women went through hell. Both of these women gave it all they had. They brought everything except the kitchen sink. But Rachel Rose emerges victorious here tonight after a hard fought battle with Hollywood Haley James. Title Match Network, the place for the best in women's wrestling. Exclusive pay per views with the top talent from around the world. Featuring Mission Pro Wrestling. Capital Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Ladies Night Out. Oh! And many, many more. Thousands of live events, all styles, available 24-7 on demand. Title Match Network. Queen of the Death Match. Jordan Grace, no stranger to Tier 1 fans. A former number one contender to the Tier 1 Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. Been around the world and then back again has won Jordan Grace and Lufisto. 
as referee Steve holds the championship titles above his head. You know, I said a moment ago, what happens as we ring for the bell right here? You know, what happens if Stockade loses the titles on behalf of uh, 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 of David Starr? But, well, hold on. We're going to start off with a little bit of a, a push-up contest with Jordan Grace initiating it. And I don't know if Jordan, as jacked as she is, really wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Man of Steel. That's Superman right there, and you're tugging on his cape, Jordan. That's, t okay, that's, well, that's... 13, 14, come on guys, that's already 15 more than I can do. Really just showing up the rest of us right now are Mike Verna and Jordan Grace. And I'm not sure if, if, if Mike Verna relented right there, if we're going to go ahead and give it to Jordan Grace, but a handshake. And now Mike Verna looks like he's calling for a... Mike Verna's calling for a test of strength, but Jordan's saying that's the stupidest thing you can do, Mike Verna. I don't know. I wouldn't be willing to take that bet, but we're going to see right here how these two do against each other. Oh, my. And now Jordan Grace jockeying for leverage, perhaps getting the best of one Mr. Mike Verna right now, and up on the shoulders goes Mike Verna into the Samoan drop position, but goes down. Verna now has her up, and Verna could turn this into something, but instead he's gonna go ahead and deadlift Jordan Grace for the enjoyment of the Brooklyn crowd, and uh-oh. Well, how do you, how, how do you, well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sit out on those calls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let referee Steve call the action on what happens there. And now the headlock by Jordan off the ropes. Jordan tries with a shoulder, attempts again off the third rope. Is it gonna? No way. How about the fourth rope? Is it gonna work? No. And there goes Jordan. Smack the back of her head against the canvas did Jordan Grace in a bad way right now as Stockade and Lufisto look on and Mike Verna attempting a little bit of chivalry right there but Jordan Grace wanted no part of it. Jordan Grace and look at that. We just saw the Lucha Libre Championship defended and we're seeing a little bit of that Mexican wrestling action right now. Jordan Grace once again with a small package, no avail, just a two count. The Tier 1 Wrestling World Tag Team Championship on the line right now. Mike Verna with Stockade subbing for Star against Team Pog, Jordan Grace, and Lufisto. And here comes Stockade. I don't know if Jordan Grace meant to shove Mike Verna into a tagging scenario right there. But she's going to go ahead and follow up with a slap. My, uh oh my god. I, I, I've said this before, but Jordan Grace was quite literally on spaghetti legs right there as Lufisto comes in and hits Stockade with a belly-to-back suplex. Lufisto goes for the cross body onto Stockade right there, but... Lufisto with a low blow to Stockade, but I don't think referee Steve's going to do anything about it right now as Lufisto continues to hammer away on her... Deathmatch counterpart, the Devil's Outlaw. And continuing to strike with those vicious kicks and now a series of blows from every angle. An absolute wild woman. Fisto with us. Breaking kick to the face of Stockade right there. Making a tag to Jordan Grace, and here comes Grace. Has Stockade in the camel clutch, does Lufisto, and the drop kick from Grace right to the face. And now hitting Stockade with a senton right in the middle of the ring. But Jordan Grace, the ring general that she is, knows better than to go for the tag when Mike Verna is at his best on the apron. Knows she's not going to win the championship that way, but continues to fire away. The open palm strike. Now, Lufisto, there you go. Ring awareness on display by Lufisto, getting rid of Mike Verna, and now this might be the opening the Team Pog needs to secure those straps currently held by Verna and Stark. Hey, 
and Lufisto wrapping her leg around the, the neck of Stockade on the rope right there, and another vicious kick. Stockade has been kicked in the head so many times during this match, I'm surprised he can even summon the wherewithal to keep standing as now Jordan Grace is back in the ring. Team Pog utilizing the, the quick tags, the cliched quick tags that you hear about so often, but it is important. You see how fresh both members of Team Pog remain as they continue to tag each other in and out of the ring. And now Lufisto. Uh-oh. Stockade. They might be going chop for chop at Stockade. He felt something inside and he's back. The electricity is flowing inside Stockade. Uh-oh. Well, what's Jordan Grace doing? Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace just asked a fan for a... Wait, wait, wait. What, is, what the heck is Mike Vernon doing? Both Jordan Grace and Stockade. Well, wait, they're not, they're not hitting each other with the chairs. What are they? Well, what are we going? Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen anything like this before? Stockade and Lufisto, the queen of the death match and the devil's outlaw, going shot for shot from a seated position in the center of the ring on steel chairs as Mike Verna, well, Mike Verna stood behind Stockade and Jordan Grace stood behind Lufisto. This melee breaking down into an all-out brawl right now as everyone's down. This is absolutely chaotic. Tier 1 Wrestling bringing you the best professional wrestling in New York City. This is the Tier 1 Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Mike Vernon missing with a clothesline right there. Jordan Grace missing. Went for the kick. Both combatants going for kicks. And now Jordan Grace. Well, this is just a series of reversals right here, ladies and gentlemen. I can't even keep track. Jordan Grace off the ropes. Mike Verner rolled up right there, but missed it. And now around back. Belly to back suplex by Mike Verner. But Jordan Grace maintains her composure. And now they're both. Well, if Mike Verna is Superman, Jordan Grace is most certainly Wonder Woman as these two titans are clashing. And now... Their respective partners. Everyone is in the ring once again. Referee Steve unable to maintain any kind of semblance of order. And now the roll up right there by Jordan Grace. Unable. And then the the jumping stunner right there from Jordan Grace. One, two, Nuchin. No. Stockade breaking up the pin right there. Stockade. Had Jordan Grace with a chance. Really not sure what he was going to go for right there, but... Jordan Grace on to Stockade in the corner with a knee. And now Lufistu following up with a cannonball. Dropping the elbow does Jordan Grace. And now a rear view from Lufisto. And this is no good for the tag team champion, Mike Verna, and his tag team partner, Stockade, as Team Pog are in, are in firm control right now off the ropes. Well, wait, oh. Turn that around, two and three! Mike Verna got the... Mike Verna gets the pin. Team Pog had Mike Verna right where they wanted him, but Stockade was in the right place at the right time. Knocks Lufisto off her game. Mike Verna rolled up Jordan Grace. Mike Verna is still the Tier 1 Wrestling World Tag Team Champion along with David Starr. in this building right now can power a small city. Six pounds. He stands before you on this, his record shattering 
champion, wrestling's richest prize, the All-Father, Mr. Darius Carter! An introduction like no other, second to none, presented to you by the White Glove Treatment himself, Shane Fair. Darius Carter showcasing not what it's all about, but what it all means to be about for not just BCW, but him as a champion. Nick Shin, your official. Marina Shafir, the challenger. BCW, Queen of the North 3. Sean Ortiz, AJ Pan, and Vicious Vicky are getting ready to bring you the main event. Marina Shafir has not moved. She has not lost eye contact on Darius Carter. She's going for it right away. Vicky, like, what would you do in a situation like this? Uh, to be completely fair, Darius Carter is probably one of the brightest minds in the business, so I'm gonna go with what he's doing right now as the best strategy, but I would be a little intimidated by her and want to take her out as fast as I could, because she looks like a rabbit dog ready to bite. Carter quickly looking for a few degrees of separation in the early going of this match, and there it is yet again. Looks like she's going to twist that ankle right away. Smart. Possibly take him off if he can't walk. The modern day Nick know. Bockwinkle, usually a master of mind games, but earlier tonight, you saw Marina Shafir clearly get under the skin of the All Father. I've never seen anything like that. I was sitting at ringside with you Ray were eating popcorn, damn it. Have you seen Darius Carter do this at various Queen of the North? I'm used to it by now. He interrupts my segment. So I figured I would watch what was going to happen this time. And uh, yeah, I was not disappointed. I was surprised to see Darius Carter, for lack of a better term, shook. She literally said nothing, nothing. And Darius expect people to get right in his face. She just, with a simple look, not even getting in the ring, she made her mark in BCW. Marina Shafir legitimately sauntered to the ring, made a circle, and in her facial expression declared that this moment would be war. The champion, very smartly, breaks the count again. See, smart, smart. This is what I'm all about. I don't care who you are. If there's a smart strategy in play, I'm gonna put that over. Carter completely getting his steps in today, Pam. I mean, no disrespect, but like Marina basically marked her territory in that opening segment. But yeah, da I mean, hey, Derek's doing a smart thing. He's, he's taking his time, it's a champion's advantage, and He's gonna try to frustrate her. That's what he normally does. He's gonna try to frustrate her. She wants to go at it in a straight up fight. Darius is one of the most intelligent men in professional. Intelligent athletes. And Carter, one of the most versed catches catch can competitors in all of pro wrestling. Oh yeah, never forget. You can never forget. No, the, all his antics, his ego, his verbatim. No, but he is one of the best technical wrestlers out there as well. He's a, he's, that's why he's one of the most dangerous There's the collar and elbow, Shafir going for the arm. This is one half of the double title main event here at Queen of the North 3. And, and now Carter, Carter riding, front face lock, very tightly applied. Shafir's gonna try to Ooh, spread nice out. Over there. I'm a little surprised that Darius is uh, out wrestling Marina right Yeah, now. but you can tell Marina's trying to go for that arm again. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa. Uh, Stand wow. here. She I is have, no joke. The message that Shafir is translating, I am giving you space because I am allowing it. Oh. Look at Darius. Taunt I have never for seen this. Taunt here. I'm sure he's shook right now as much as I love him. He's got to be shook. He's got to be shook being played his own game right now. Marina is definitely in Darius' head, and nobody that I know of has been able to do that. BCW, other companies he's been in. Oh. oh, Carter going for that leg pick. Very interesting here. And yes, we have a takedown. Ooh, nice. Oh, but Ooh, look at that. Right, leg scissors. Right, quickly right. to a cover. One shoulder down, no. Oh. oh. <laughs> and that was just for posterity. Oh. Look at the eyes on Darius. He really did not know what to do right now. He really did not think that this was going to happen tonight. And Carter. Carter again. Trying to get that separation. He has a right to, he has a five count. He needs to get his wits about him. That's the only way, I hate to say it, so he's gonna survive this match. I need to like. get my wits about your outfit. You're a living Lichtenstein. I don't hate it. Yeah, don't you go. Don't that, no, no, I'm just, this is amazing. It's a little I'm wrong. Oh, I, I stand corrected. 
loving this little standoff square dance thing we got going on here, guys. I'm really, really interested. Oh, nope. Now, Vicky, while you're Ooh. a different wheelhouse compared to Marina Shafir, if you're in this situation, what's your plan of attack? Because ultimately, whether it's mind games or the mat, Darius Carter, not to be slouched on. That's the problem, man. You can play mind games with him all you want. I'm always going to feel like he's going to one-up you, but if it was me in there right now, I'd be going right for his legs. He's tall. He knows what he's doing. He can have the height advantage easily, not just the width, the height advantage. But right now, Marina Shafir is kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe with him when it comes to that. So, guys, I don't know. This really could be like a slug test. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Great waist lock there. Now Carter bending over, using his body weight to ground Shafir. Excellent strategy. That's what he's going to have to do. Step on the toe. That's what you got to do. Keep her down. And Shafir go. Oh, oh! go right for that MMA style. Here we go. That's it. If Sheik is able to keep that going. Carter, the ring general, quickly aware of the fact that he had to pin her into a corner to get separation. Oh! But Carter, obviously not a clean break. I mean, you got to take advantage of it. And this is the Darius has faced so many different competitors. I mean, look at the from a person like Dan Moss to Austin Theory. And now it's a whole different wheelhouse for him, but he's been able to adapt. Tonight, oh! I think he's, I hate to say it, he's a little off his game. Shafir, of course, making her BCW debut, but the amount of taunting on social media cannot be unspoken. The war of words, the complete chaos of allowed characters, if you will, has been nothing short of amazing. This is a hyperbole situation, as Shafir stays on the champion. And that's another area that people cannot match Darius Carter in, on, on social media. He will just go in on you. Marina hasn't taken any of it and has gone right back in his face. Yeah. She is ready for this. She is, she does not care who Darius Carter is. She clearly does it, and she does everything that she's doing right now with complete ease. My mind is blown right now. Darius Carter covering up, cowering like a little girl. I don't like that. He needs to get his act together right now because I'm really disappointed. Shafir straddling, opening up Carter. Got Got an arm bar situation, not completely applied, and she's trying her best to have it completely applied. Darius Carter knows. not allowing application. He knows if, if she gets us locked in, that could be the end of his record-breaking title reign. He's not gonna do it. He's not oh, gonna cover, do cover. It. Oh, no. Wow, look at that. Shafir still has that arm wrenched. Now with a leg pick and almost grounded, almost grounded. Oof. Carter again with a roll. Oh, Carter knows back, right? one. Carter knows if he gets flat backed, he's done. And that's the beauty of that. that oh, man. wow. The lead mistress of the diamond mine, Marina Shafir, lands on her feet. And the smile on her face. The smile on her face. The taunting between these two right now, too, is driving me crazy. It just really. See, oh, and this is surprising. God. Normally, Darius would have went after Marina. He gave her time to get back in the ring, and now he's walking around. And now I Shafir, have never seen this. It's Shafir trying to catch the prey that is the champion. As the official, Nick Shin is at a four count. Is Darius Carter really trying to reason with his opponent? No, he's got some, he has to have it's, something It's in all mind. part of the tactic. There you go. Oh, cold clock! And that's the Darius Carter we've known to, I don't want to say love, well, I love him, but. <laughs> that's the guy. Oh, Carter, utilizing a ring apron to completely suffocate Marina Shafir. And look at this. I mean, that's what Darius. proud of his work. That's why he's been champion for so long. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That is why he's champion for so long. Look at that. Oh. Post right to the head. She ain't going to get up from that anytime soon. You have to use your brains in situations like this. Yeah, and they don't teach that in uh, MMA and Jiu-Jitsu class and any of those things. They don't teach that how to get hit by anything. Yeah, but Shafir yeah. has the heart of a warrior. I'm not questioning that at all, but I don't know if she's ever faced somebody as mentally strong, as technically sound as Darius Carter. Carter again going to that ring apron. That ring skirt. Champions do what they got to do to retain by any means necessary. That's Nick what he's Shin doing. Nick Shin completely frustrated. Ooh. He is, but it's a world title match, so you kind of have to let a little bit go. You don't want to see this match end in a DQ. Yeah, but you have to respect your official. It depends which official. I don't like Nick Shin. 
I know that hurts. Oh, look at that, look at that. Digging deep, wrenching at the jaw. What you gotta do? Oh, wow, oh, right man. on the forehead. And Relentless this Darius Carter, ladies and gentlemen. The All-Father trying to physically dissect and he is back, Shakir. He has just taken back his ring. Now he feels at home. Now this is Darius' game of chess to win. Vicky, what separates Darius Carter from the entire BCW locker room as, not as a male or a female, as an athlete? Very simple answer. He literally has everything that you need to be successful in this business, whether it's presence, whether it's the way he speaks, the way he carries himself, his diction, his sense of style, and yes, I said sense of style, the way that he takes care of, ah, the way that he takes care of his prized possessions, such as his title belt. He is a champion in his Why is this man not signed? I'm sorry. I am a huge Darius Carter fan. AJ Pan, could you withhold yourself from applauding and call the match? I'm sorry. I mean, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta give him props. He's the heavyweight champion. See you. Any, anybody, anybody else? Across the yes. board. Respect our world champion. I know it's your first night here, but he is a, he's been, he's on our Mount Rushmore of talent here. I, I respect Darius Carter just as much as anybody else. Maybe even more so. But I try to be a bias an unbiased individual. Uh, I, I know you are biased. I've worked with you before. You're very biased. Hey, man, you got to call it where it is, man. If somebody's that good, they are that good. And Darius Carter is that good. Well, there's no denying that. That's Carter now in total control of every single ligament possessed by Marina Shafir. Listen to the guttural screams from Marina Shafir. What is yeah. this? Look ah. at the methodical. Look now at just the slow. To injury. The completely calculated attack. And good night. Oh. Pump action to both kneecaps. Carter could have the match in the bag. Shoots the half. Ooh. Will she walk after that? That is the question. And there's a two. And Darius is doing everything right in those pins. There's nothing he could do extra. He's hooking the arms, hooking the leg. No lackadaisical cover there, but Marina is just still. She has a lot left in her. And Shafir writhing in pain, a situation that she is not familiar with. She is not used to being the sufferer. She is used to causing suffer. Causing suffer? Yes. Is that dramatic thing for Making someone suffer. There you go. That's a longer sentence. But it sounds better. You should know this. Come on. All right, you two. Calm down. I'm disappointed in you. Ooh, oh, nice oh. shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah. Carter, again to the hair pull. Ooh, going right for a naked here. Darius with the submission here. Wow. Now, how does Marina battle this? As much as I love Darius and all that he does, I will say Marina Shafir, I think she still has a little bit left in her tank, guys. I think she has more than enough. I think if Shafir can kick it into another gear and get a second win, you're going to see the entire pendulum swing right back in her. She's trying to break it, but Darius got that grip on it. That is a death grip I've ever seen. One. She's trying to go for that takeover there. Marina trying to... Oh! Oh, my God. Shafir completely crumbling in front of this capacity crowd in Richfield Park, New Jersey. Uh oh, we've seen this from Darius. Oh, watch. Right. Oh, oh, and right a on the shoe nose. away from me fly there. Two and a half. Shafir kicks out. And again, like you said, she has left in the tag. Again, Darius, you don't see many pins like that. Everybody just drapes over or tries and hook a light, but I'm putting the weight on the shoulder. He put everything he had in that, and With Darius still... Carter, there is no waste of motion. No, not at all. Uh, that, again, that's what makes him a step above the rest. It's my right to have it! Oh, it's funny? Darius trying to parade her into submission. Oh, wow. And now it's just... This is getting ugly. It's funny. I think we might be getting a little uncomfortable, guys. Crowd trying to get behind Miss Shafir. Carter. Carter.
Carter went for that end of days finishing maneuver of his. Can but she do it, though? Nice! Oh, oh, my handle release! Okay. There's that little bit left of the tag. Now, she really has to capitalize on this moment, guys, or else Darius Carter's going to come back. He's going to take his belt home with him. Close call. Close call. And you see the way she made the cover. She pulled Darius's legs up to his shoulders, trying to get that extra weight on. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Shafir showcasing all the frustration, trying to break the cover up with those palm strikes. And Carter woes to the headbutt. Watch with the headbutts. Come on, man. I love it, man. I love it. See right there, weak moments. Don't capitalize. Hey, off the hair and two, three. Let go of the hands, Darius. Come on, man. Carter now. Oh, hard, and I mean hard, Wigan style uppercut. Oh, and he's holding. Look, look at the, the cravat right yep, now. Yep, that's right. That's the European oh, training. He is digging right now. How many times have you seen that, Cheyenne? European uppercut into the cravat. Not often. Carter has done three tours in the UK for training and matches. Short arm. And he's trained with some of the best out there. Absolutely. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Johnny Stane, I think he did a lot. He is. Yeah, he's right. with Johnny Stane. Completely understudied with Johnny Stane on the first and second tours. Let go of the hair. He's calling a shot. Oh, oh what? But Shafir is still standing. No, no, no. She's smiling. Oh. Shafir wants another one. Oh, oh she my. is just eating these right now. Oh, what? Did you see the way she just broke that? Oh, my God. Look at these seismic kicks right to the midsection. And now peppering Carter. A strike combo, a little rollback. Oh! Oh! Swing Jesus it up, Christ it up, Almighty! To right to the throat. Oh. Not on. Oh boy! Oh. Oh. And now, right to the sternum with those strikes. Catapult! Great roll through, crab style. And leg lock, leg lock. Can she get it? She's almost got the triangle, a version of a triangle. And, and Carter's in the center of the ring. Carter's in the center of the ring. There is no way to no, not go. Now, Darius not is tonight. not going to attack. No, that's not happening. No, there's no way. I mean, he's got he's to get out of it. Darius is not. Oh, my God. I don't even have words. I have no words. I have no words. No words. I'm going home. Are you kidding me? No words. No. <laughs> TitleMatchNetwork.com Ladies, gentlemen, and my friends beyond the binary, I am Jazzy J. Sirius, the world's finest wrestler. And I have once again been encumbered with the task of defending and fighting on behalf of this pathetic gender called man. to me, and not just the men in this ring tonight, not just the men in this audience, but all the men my entire life have been disappointments, and I'm not just talking about my stepdad, Stephen. You're looking. 
looking at one. It's going to be time to admit that the best women's wrestler in Texas is me. I'm going to become the queen of this shit, and I am going to lead the women of Texas to a glorious wrestling future. And when I do that, it's going to be music for your eyes.
titlematchnetwork.com And somehow this was all just a warm up for this match. Can you believe it? And we're underway and it's about to get Ring fun. the bell. This is a de facto Texas Tornado tag match here. That's right and no piece underground falls count anywhere submissions count anywhere. There are no tags. It's tornado style. Sawyer Wreck and Kylan King taking on Lindsey Snow oh. and Masha Slim. Ooh, that was almost a problem. Oh, oh and then Double backhands here. Nice coordination here. You know, in a tag match like this, it really is oh. going to be the story of which team can gel together, which team can work together. Or who can not die out here. There's already glass everywhere. <laughs> Buckling of bodies. And Sawyer Wreck has unfinished business with Masha Slamovich. As Masha got the best of Sawyer Wreck back at Already Dead a few months ago. And now I see I saw your wreck has some things in her hands. More construction materials, my oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And you notice, listen, Masha, Lindsay Snow, badasses, strong as hell. Kylan King and Sawyer Wreck are giants in this atmosphere. They are huge, they are tall, and they are powerful. And Sawyer Wreck has competed in every possible kind of match. And no piece on the ground. <laughs> Easily the most experienced in this style. Did you see that? They almost knocked over the whole backstage thing. Yeah, that is not a good idea. This this space is just barely constructed at all. Speaking of construction materials, that this place is unfinished as hell. And no, I, I, I think it's it. gonna be finished before all this is over. What is Sawyer Red? Uh oh, both being held oh. hostage by the opposite. It's like a hostage situation. Uh oh, no, no. The Cold War, oh, oh no! Hostage no. trades! Both prisoners executed. A Two. miracle of destruction. Yikes. I mean, Kylan King might be experiencing that for the first time, and now the death wish is firing oh. away to the forehead. Yeah, you can't be doing that on television, that's for sure. Yeah. She came back, though. This is crazy. Half of the team has already been attacked by construction materials. Oh. And there's the strikes of Lindsay Snow, the American Kaiju, but Kylan King, my God. First light two of the match. That's a shot for all of you at home. Yeah, Lindsay Snow. Lindsay Snow, blue belt and BJJ. She's competed for AEW, WWE, mind. NWA, and Ring of Honor all in the same year. And now she's trying to destroy oh. Sawyer Wreck. That plate is so deep in Sawyer Wreck right now. And Lindsay Snow in full control. 
Look Things at Kylan change in an King. Instant. Have you ever seen Kylan King this fired up? Honestly, yes. It was when she was kicking my ass. So, oh, can you blame her there? Oh. oh. Kicks flying everywhere. People up, people down. This is madness right now. And oh, Snow with those woo. stiff strikes. Yeah. Oh, God. She ain't taking no guff. Just a battery of yeah. chops here wow. by Kylan King. Oh, okay, well, Lindsay Snow is already total crimson. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ready. She Ready. fell down on top of it, though. Let's see one more. Oh, yeah. Across the midsection. That deep bass thump is a chemical reaction as all the ingredients of that light tube explode as they hit I mean, oxygen. if you wouldn't have thought any better, Lindsay Snow has the maniacal look like she was Luna Vachon right now. This is insane. And attacking that midsection, she, Kylan King feeling like Paul Simon here. Why are we soft in the middle? Why would you attack me where I don't even have bones? I mean, <laughs> you know. Incredible. I blew y'all with that one, didn't I? I was going to say, I that got, was so brilliant. There was no reason to follow it up. I wanted to let it breathe. Let, let that line breathe. Maybe I'll let everything breathe. I don't know if these folks are going to be breathing after this. My breath has almost been taken away by the absurd violence. Oh, God. Oh my God please don't. Oh, oh authors of pain. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. God. oh, no. These Reversal. Oh, oh. oh God. Into glass and concrete. Double maniacal. covers here. Oh, kick out. That really sucks for two reasons. Still hanging in. That is insanity. Yikes. It's sharp. It's stiff. It's horrible. It's a concrete floor covered in glass. And this is where warriors are built. Speaking Snow of the middle. And Masha are uh -oh. a machine uh -oh. right now. That's okay. Just, yep. There Strongest you go. tubes in Dallas this weekend. I got to tell you. Oh, God. And now Lindsay Snow, another one to the Just back grind it in of there. Kylan Ooh. King. A little that. bit of a scorpion to that, uh, the arc of that kick there. Pretty nice. Targeted action right where she wanted it. Placing that kick and that tube in the, in the precise position on the back here. And Effie, how, it's so rare to see Sawyer Wreck completely at the mercy of somebody else. She's usually doing all the destroying herself. The overreactors here are stuck in a moment where they are in a rough spot. Well, it speaks to the uh, the dominance of Lindsey Snow and Masha Slamovich. I oh. mean, talk about a, a, a dream team. Talk about a power crew there. Sliding Jeez. and riding. Things can turn around. These tubes are stiff ski. Woo. Wreck and King just get out of the way in time, and now they're back on the offensive. That's all it takes is just one turnabout. And now it looks like they're going to pay. Yeah, let's get a bunch of tubes out there. Yeah. The tube budget on this match, my God, I don't even, I don't know how to finance this. Obviously, someone, someone is thinking right now, my tubes, oh. not my tubes. Snow sent right into the barricade, and now Masha Slamovich is in a rough position. Sawyer Wreck. Sawyer Wreck has just got a crimson mask right now, and she is looking pissed. Oh, this could be it. Oh, oh God. Holy moly. Combination power bomb neck breaker. Here's the cover. Two, got three. It. Kylan King and Sawyer Wreck. Yeah, I, there's no way you're going to kick out of something With like a that. a victory. That double team makes the difference. That oh. was a violent finish. Look at Masha right now. She's she's shaking. She's it suffering. Oh, my goodness. Sawyer the overreactors, baby. Fired up a mess everywhere. Proving themselves as a team here. Snow and Slamovich. No joke. A, a real competitive moment here, but... The two overreactors, Kyla King, Sawyer Wreck, leaving with the dub, baby. That's right, the oh no! Oh, what she, the hell? She just slapped oh, no. Lindsay. Masha's pissed. She hates losing. Oh, this oh, team God. is done. Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, look, combustible elements of these personalities wasn't going to last for long. It was too good to be true. Quite frankly, what no. the hell is she oh, doing? No. Good friends, better enemies, I guess. No, she took her shoe off. No. That's a terrible choice. No. What no. are you doing? What are you doing? This is, this feels vindictive. What the hell is Lindsay Snow thinking? She's pulling up her pant leg here. Uh-oh. And she's just showing off the tattoo. Some kind of symbolic meaning here. She has a Masha Slamovich tattoo. Oh it says Masha must God. die. She has a Masha must die tattoo. This was planned. 
All of this was planned. This is permanent hate. This was a setup. You can't get a tattoo under that short of notice. I'm not in a barber shop, but there are windows broken everywhere. This is a heartbreak moment that she had planned ahead. She was willing to die out here for it. Well, that, we've just recontextualized everything that just happened. Man, am, Lindsay Snow is not someone you want to cross. Completely oh. blown away by it. We got a couple of psychos here. Masha's had issues before with plenty of people, and she's not scared to lose another friend. This is a lonely road, and these two are going to meet down the line. I feel it. Destructive finish here. You know, I was going to say, I love to see female friendship in all its forms, but this looks like it's turned into female hatred, and I love that too. Well, this is definitely not finished between the American Kaiju and Masha Slamovich. Nonetheless, Kylan King and Sawyer Wreck victorious, and we'll be right back. TitleMatchNetwork.com Tonight is still to come. Tonight, Joey Hyder and Tina Nix are going to be starting off this gauntlet matchup. What a night to make your debut in a gauntlet match. If Tina Nix pulls this win off against Joey Hyder, she could have a long night ahead of her. She definitely could. Of course, no time limit applied to this Mission Pro Cup gauntlet match. The only members besides the two that we see in the ring who we know for sure are going to be involved in this contest are the, is the current reigning and defending Mission Pro Cup holder, that being Casey Blackrose. Casey Blackrose has held that cup for the better part of a little over a year and a half ever since April 2022. Tiffany Nix looking to make a statement here tonight in her Mission Pro Wrestling debut. What a, what a better man to try and make a statement against than Joey Hyder. Definitely not one of the most beloved members in the Mission Pro roster. Absolutely not. Another member of the men's revolution and of course one half of H2EZ with JP Hollow. Hyder. Looking to power Tiffany, uh, Tina Nix up. Oh, Nix. and she does. Good God, with a German suplex. The American airman taking flight in a way that he did not precedent. Nix, beautiful offense. Gonna be looking for the cover here on Hyder. Tina Nix certainly, certainly proving impressive so far. Continuing to try and put the hurt in on Joey Hyder. Joey Hyder is going to be looking to fight back, battle back. Definitely doing so in a way. Side headlock, driver driving Tina Nix into the mat. Cover, two, three, and that one is over. Over, wow. Here we have JL, another debut here at Mission Pro Wrestling. That's one thing that I happen to love about Mission Pro Wrestling. They're consistently finding new talent to try and throw into the upper echelon of women's professional competition. JL straight out of the Rhodes Wrestling Academy, trained under, of course, Dustin Rhodes, AEW star. He's only been competing on the independent circuit for the past three months. I'm very interested to see what we're going to be seeing out of JL as she takes it to a seasoned veteran by comparison in the American Airmen. She's certainly unleashing some physicality on Joey Hyder here so far, though. I do think Joey Hyder was expecting that. I don't believe he was expecting it either, and just by the fact that Joey Hyder is seemingly a little rocked by JL right now. Trying to create a little bit of separation wherever he possibly can. He's asking for a timeout. There's no timeout in wrestling. No, there definitely is not a timeout. He knows this. Oh, oh and taking the advantage on JL. Hyder has done everything in his power, in his possibility, to try and ensure that at least one member of the uh, the men's revolution is involved in this match at all times. I actually have it on good authority. He requested specifically to come in at number one for this matchup. That's an interesting choice, because you would think number one, obviously, to be able to win this, they've got to go through all of the following competitors. 
course, Joey Hyder. That's the confidence that Hyder does have. Hyder believes he's capable of outlasting every single other competitor in this matchup. We're going to see if Hyder can prove himself correct tonight. Yeah, well, one wonders if he's perhaps a bit overconfident. JL off the ropes with the Bulldog. Three months of in-ring competition for JL on top of over a year of training at the Rhodes Wrestling Academy. And this is already the level of competition that JL's competing yeah, at. She is certainly imp looking impressive so far. Wait a minute. Joey Hyder has JL by the hair. Hyder, snap there, drive, cover, two, three. Oh, and it's over. This will not be an easy task for him now. Well, this is no debutee. Of course, this is Alejandra Quintanilla, who is already getting things started off hot tonight. And La Leona certainly bring the fire. Heading to the top rope with a cross body. La Leona looking to take the heat, give the heat. More so to a boiling point for Joey Hyder, the American airman. Not be feeling good right now, sending. Oh, the the oh. Trying to call his shot, but if there's anything that's going to rock you, it's going to be combination offense like this. Keith Nia with the Meteora. Keith Nia into the cover. That could be it. No, you've got to remember that this is technically the third match for Joey Haida, whereas Alejandra La Leona coming out fresh. I don't even know how many more matches that they, they really could have within this gauntlet style competition, of course. That's why I feel- How many more competitors there are going to be? It's, uh, it's, it's an open book. Absolutely, and that's why I feel that surely the competitor who comes in last has the advantage. You definitely would be correct about that. No knowledge on the placement of the only other man we know is involved in this contest, that being, as we mentioned, Casey Blackrose, your Mission Pro Cup holder. Joey Hyder catching the boot there from La Leona. Sending Keithania backward. Close line evaded, lifting her up. Wait a minute, DDT! Oh. Incredibly impactful offense. Joey Hyder is down. Keithania, not enough. Joey Hyder certainly being put through his paces this evening. Paces picking up for these two competitors. You have to imagine the longer that Joey Hyder is capable of making it through this match, if he manages to outlast Alejandra Quintanilla, whoever walks through the curtain next could be the, the individual to put him away off of something much more simple, something such as a, a leg lock or something that they might not have mastered purely. Absolutely. I mean, Joey Hyder himself you know, no disrespect to him. He's a great physical competitor, but fatigue is a thing. Trying to go for the headlock driver, Quintanilla, outlasting it with a single leg drop kick. La Leona, just looking to wear down the neck. The C4, C5 vertebrae. And it's locked in right now. Where does Joey Hyder have to go? He is in trouble here, right in this, oh. Hang on. Alejandra up and down. Into the cover, off the face breaker, and that was it, that was enough. And here we have your current Mission Pro Wrestling Cup holder, Casey Blackrose. Alejandra Quintanilla and Casey Blackrose, two individuals incredibly familiar with one another. Absolutely, and Casey Blackrose has been successful so far in his defense of the Mission Pro Cup, but of course, tonight a gauntlet match is a much, much different competition. I have to tell you, Casey Blackrose does have some very impressive records in elimination style competitions. I want to take you back to April of last year. Casey Blackrose actually won the Mission Pro Cup in a battle royal 
to crown the first ever cup holder. Cover here for Black Rose, too. That is a great point, Walk. I'm gl so glad you reminded me of that. Black Rose last eliminated Devin Carter, and before that, the aforementioned Joey Hyder. Alejandra Quintanilla getting caught by Ooh. Black Rose. Look at the way that Casey's able to muscle Quintanilla around the cover. Not enough. Black Rose might be taking a little bit too much time here. You could certainly cannot sleep on the lion. There is no sleeping on La Leona. She will not allow it. Super kick from Alejandra. Cover two. Lexi, I gotta ask you, if you're Alejandra Quintanilla, picked up a multitude of victories here at Mission Pro Wrestling in the past, where's your mindset gonna be? You gotta be feeling confident about yourself. I, I think she's confident anyway, in a good way. But absolutely. I think she's coming into this thinking that she can win it, and I firmly believe that she can. Very difficult to walk into a setting like this with a, a prize as prestigious as the Mission Pro Cup on the line, and not have the heart, not have the faith to believe that you have what it takes. It's certainly difficult though, not even knowing who your competitors may be. How do you prepare for a match against an unknown? Alejandra, oh. oh. shoulder thrust, tempting them at least to Casey Blackrose, a pivotal part of Quintanilla's arsenal. Blackrose out. Oh! Backbreaker! The backbreaker artist himself, Casey Blackrose, the master of the backbreaker. Alejandra Quintanilla is going to have to find a way to battle back, try and create a little separation where possible. Drop toe hold from Blackrose. I, I just, I didn't even know how she got to her feet after that. Especially having the wind knocked out of you in that way with the backbreaker. One count. Oh, but if there's one thing we know about Alejandra, she is a fighter. Casey, look at this. Oh, and again. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is. Completely unprecedented. I, I didn't even know Boss Baines was in the building tonight, but. Don't read it. It's legally binding. And I believe Boss Baines is trying to make Black Rose an offer. He's trying to. He's trying to buy him off. A bribery uh, effort oh from Boss Baines to try and get Casey Blackrose to... He would essentially be giving up the Mission Pro Wrestling Cup, the, the one thing he's held on to for the, the past year and a half. No, Casey, no. Wait, it, I can't believe this. Casey Blackrose, I mean, you have to think about your career. I really thought I'd seen it all from the men's revolution, but this takes the biscuit. Black Rose is in, Black Rose is in. These two men are battling it out. Boss Bane's efforts were absolutely for nothing. Boss Bane's and Casey Black Rose colliding in the ring. Black Rose putting it all on the line here, giving up the money, giving up, who knows, a potential spot and opportunity in the men's revolution. It just goes to show the integrity, though, of Casey Blackrose, that this cup and this win means far more to him. It's an absolute struggle in the ring. T-bone suplex from Boss Baines. Baines is fired up. I mean, you don't just rip up a check or a contract or any opportunity handed to you, especially when it comes from the boss. Absolutely. The boss Bane is kind of probably humiliated now by this. They take the action outside the ring. 
sure Boss Bane's expected to potentially try and bribe Casey Blackrose for a victory and you know, let's walk away with the Mission Pro Cup. I said there was no lengths these guys wouldn't stoop to, and I was right. Oh my oh. god! What? Casey Blackrose is absolutely rocked. Referee obviously checking on him there. The damage that must have been done to Casey Black versus back. The damage to be done to a man known as the master of the backbreaker. Black Rose cannot be feeling good right now. Oh! A little bit of spinal readjustment for Boss Baines. Still in shock. That, I'm sorry. That sound was cannon like. Absolutely. We could hear it all the way over here from the announce desk. Devastating. <laughs> For beginning the count. Gotta be honest with you here, Lexi. I'm shocked to see Boss Baines try and make his way back into this match for me. I don't even know if but Boss trying, Baines he is expected to compete here tonight. Obviously attempted to ride Casey Blackrose out of the match. Back in the ring is Baines. He may be back in the ring, but what kind of state is he in to continue? Oh, and a shot to the oh. nether regions. Right in the wedding tackle. Up and down, Baines into the cover, two. Here and a half of dominance from Casey Blackrose has ended. A new Mission Pro Cup holder, and it will either be Boss Baines or Ladybird. A lot on the line here for both of these individuals. Men's Revolution said they did not want to walk away empty-handed here tonight. Will Boss Baines be the one to get the job done? Ladybird is the is the individual to try and beat. I feel she's coming in with the advantage, though. First of all, last entrance. Second of all, the damage done to Boss Baines is back already by Casey Blackrose. Ladybird coming in like a house of fire, and I think we're starting to notice the strategy from Ladybird trying to outpace, out quick Boss Baines. She is quick, she is agile. Baines sent down with a drop kick into the cover here for Ladybird. Was not enough to claim the Mission Pro Cup. Uh, this is truly a historic night on top of everything that's still to come. It is official that we will be seeing a second ever Mission Pro Cup holder. Will this be it? No. Two count city. I thought that was it. Uh, Boss Bane's struggling to get to his feet now, though. Probably struggling to breathe. Yeah. Think about empty lung capacity of Boss Baines after the shots he took from Black Rose, now from Lady Bird. Boss Baines getting fired back up now, though. Baines trying to do everything in his arsenal. Trying to put down Lady Bird as mentioned by our lovely ring announcer, Eliana. It is official. This will be the end of the contest. Whoever can pick up the victory over the other will become the new Mission Pro Cup holder. Whip out of the corner. Lady Bird doing every ounce of that. Baines now. Look at this Meteora from Baines. Both knees crashing into the chest of Lady Bird. Suplex into the bridge, the cover. How much more can it take here, Lexi? I don't know. I think for either of them, they have had such close calls. I do still feel, though, that Ladybird coming in fresher, still, I hope and wish she has the advantage. That's all I'll say. You can see the physical damage done to Boss Baines' back as well. Ladybird trying to battle 
This war of attrition between Boss Baines and Lady Bird is all for one thing, the Mission Pro Cup. Look at the force from Boss Baines, just tossing Lady Bird like nothing. He is, but the fire that she has that definitely counts for something. This hung up on the oh. top rope. And what goes up must come down. Boss Baines is going to be looking for the ending of this one. We might have a new cup holder. No! Look into the eyes of Boss Baines. The shock and awe, the dismay, the vitriol. I th he thinks he has this in the bag, let me tell you. Ladybird is not going to give up without a fight, though. Oh. He is certainly unleashing, unleashing, excuse me, that aggression and frustration right now on Ladybird. Boss Baines, looking to take things to the high rent district. High risk and high reward indeed between these two. Ladybird trying to do what she can to create the distance. The distance has been achieved. Wait a minute. And, and Boss Banks just sent our official into the ropes, causing Lady Bird to lose her balance. Get him out of here. Boss Banks looking to keep control here. Oh, this, God, this has bad news. Oh. Changing the momentum is Lady Bird in full control. Back up to that top rope, Lady Bird. It's all for the Mission Pro Cup. Moonsault cover, two, three. There we this go. match is over. Eliana taking the cup there to present to our new Mission Pro Cup holder, Lady Bird. TitleMatchNetwork.com
Title Match Network, your source for everything pro wrestling, with exclusive live pay-per-views featuring top talent from around the world. There. Oh, oh. Ooh, I like that one. Details direct from the source with deep diving shoot interviews and podcasts. I love it. I love being a part of Title Match Network. Get extreme with exclusive death matches. Oh. I threw the door! And of course, the best selection in women's wrestling available. Oh! What's gonna happen? Oh. Oh. With thousands of clips featured on Title Match Network's YouTube channel with over 2.3 million subscribers. Oh. All at the tips of your fingers. Every style available 24-7 on demand. Visit TitleMatchNetwork.com to sign up today and start watching instantly. TitleMatchNetwork.com well, the pedigree on display here, Scott, is through the roof. And there's the bell. Here we go. Get ready for this, Jacob. I'm so ready, Scott. You say I talked to Lady Shine to you for years. I told you she's one of the best. You're about to see it up close and personal, my friend. I count it as an honor, Scott. I love coming to this arena to see world-class wrestling, and this is definitely uh, fitting that ball here tonight. Snapmare takeover, headlock applied down on the mat. Ladies 
a hard shot. Reversal. Into the ropes. Hard shirt. Shoulder tackle. Off the rope. Up and over. Oh, damn. Down. Teeing off, it looks like here. Yeah, now the hard strikes. Man, people here just do not like our referees tonight. Lady Shiny, she gets bitch slapped the ref. Check 
this out. Off Check this ropes. out. Boom! Big time connection. I think uh, Lady Flavor's head might be over by Hobby Airport. This crowd is for Lady Shawnee, or they're split in half. Oh, I think they're just happy to be seeing some amazing lucha action here at the boiler room. Wheelbarrow, oh, caught. Oh, bridge up, two. Excellent <laughs> ring awareness. That it was. Lady Shawnee to her feet. Could be it. One, two, no. Nope, just a two count. And now it's Flamer's turn to go after the referee. No, she's not. She's not. She fixed his hair. Oh, that's nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Off the road. I've seen this. Now I see it live. It's even better. So many referees, Scott. Guess she can beat you up next. I've done solo commentary, Scott. I don't wish that on you, even though we've been through hell together, and you probably deserve it. Oh, nobody home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rung up in the ropes. Oh, shot to the back. Now off the ropes. What is she going for here? Lucha. Lady Flavor might hit the referee. <laughs> she thinks better of it. Lady Shiny off the ropes. Got us. One. No. Oh, she's rolling her around, Jacob. Oh my God. Get her opponent dizzy. Now going for the pin. One, two. Feet on the rope. Some top tier lucha shit. 
was the hype about Lady Shine that I thought, was it worth it all? Absolutely. She brings it. And Lady Flamer as well. This was an amazing match. Two awesome women. Title Match Network.